When the end came, it descended from the heavens on feathery wings. We learned that the angels were aliens who had groomed humankind to create the resources their race needed. Once we had produced what they came for, they triggered the end time war and commenced the harvest. Our largest cities became cathedral bases where the evangelists who served the angels coordinate the massive task of loading rockets to send our resources off world. Few of us in the wastes have ever seen an angel. Some doubt that they actually exist. Impossible to deny are the believers, violent fanatics who are devoted to earning the favor of the angels by any means necessary. When they found Limbo, our team learned several alarming things. B is a genetically engineered being called a Nephilim who combines human and angel genetics. She is also the second of her kind and there were over a dozen clones that looked exactly like her. By the time they arrived, Limbo had been raised by believers who had kidnapped Kay, the most advanced of the Nephilim clones. Guided by a desolation-born scout named Nomi, the team has decided to give chase in hopes of rescuing Kay and restoring hope to Project Morningstar. All right, so the team is currently in what remains of Limbo. Uh, they're making preparations to give chase to the Believers. Uh, Colt, could you post the, uh, the image of the Believer uh, crucifixes? So this is what the Believer crosses look like. Uh, they, it is fairly well known that they mark both territory and themselves with it. The lore is apparently they keep track of the things they do to get right with God and earn their way into the heavens. Uh, in many cases, this involves killing those who oppose God's way, often while blaring some recording of onward Christian soldiers on the truck. Uh, the real hardcore will tattoo the images into their flesh, but many wear just white uh, robes and will just mark little tick marks. Um, so this is what you're dealing with and who you're looking for. They believe that God has come, sent his angels down physically to earth to take believers up to the heavens, which in this case happens to be angels and spaceships. And because they believe what the recruited televangelists have been saying, they believe only through service they can get right with God and basically earn their way onto one of the ships. Uh, there's a lot of debate about whether they actually get to go up anywhere, or whether they're just processed like everything else on those ships, but they believe, which makes them incredibly dangerous. Um, as they're ready to leave, uh, B and Eric uh, have a moment aside uh, to have an interchange. So can you give me uh, B and Eric uh, two up, please, Colt? Eric, listen, um, I'm really not sure how to tell you this, but I, uh, I agree with you. I, I don't, I don't trust my parents at all. I have, I have no idea, uh, what their, their true intentions are with making all of us as far as being assassinistic weapons. I'm not really into that as far as, uh, being, you know, like, it's a surprise. That's all I'm saying. Man, life hands you surprises, but I say don't trust anybody. I mean, the more people you trust, the more people can let you down, right? All I can tell you is this. When the time comes, if you have to make a choice, choose the people with the guns in the hands. Okay. That sounded like a button to me. Colt, can I have everybody back? All right, so everybody is uh, working with Grace uh, to get ready to leave. Uh, Grace addresses Special Agent Coldwater. Uh, so there's just a little bit away from here, partially because it made so much noise. I have a truck I call Sally. I, I have it hidden. I've got a little bit of a structure over it type to protect it from the sand. But because it wasn't in limbo itself, the believers had no reason to go out there. 
Uh, we used it to get outside the desolation to get supplies. Um, she's cranky, but gets you where you want to go. Uh, do you have someone that can drive? Probably can, right? So look under your sheet. There's like a literally a drive skill. I, yeah. Navad has been training with Winona, essentially his uh, yeah, learners. Your driver has been Winona. So she's got a two. He's got the best drive number. I've got, a, got three. a four. So Eric and Navad can drive. Oh, oh and, <laughs> and, and Coldwater. Coldwater. Yeah. 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 We can, okay. some of us can drive. So it's going to need some care. Um, so she wouldn't ask this way, but she would ask about hacking which is the way, no, I'm sorry, not bodging. Bodging is keeping something running. Uh, I happen to know that's B. Mm -hmm. uh, so B, so she'd ask about who can take a look at the engine if she stops working. You talk a little bit, B, B can do that. Uh, so she says, in the little area I have it, I've also gotten back, I've got a small stockpile of gas and there's also a tool kit in back so you should have everything you need. I've, I've gathered things like some extra fuses and some extra um, you know, timing belts and things like that. So I'm low, you know, I normally would be loath to give Sally up, but considering it's just going to be me, uh, I, I would appreciate it if you would take D with you. I'm not really equipped to protect her, uh, but I survive pretty well, not as well as your friend here seems to, it's just your points to, to know me. Um, but I think I can get to the edge of the desolation myself. I'm certainly not. I've lived here long enough that I'm not going to die. Like she's putting on the equivalent of like Fremen. You know, she's got all the stuff to keep the sand out. Uh, she's actually got a, a face mask that will help her not breathe the sand in and avoid spreading viruses because it's a responsible thing to do. Um, so glad we've finally learned our lesson 120 years later. Actually, it took the third virus, but finally. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fair. Uh, it's the Fair. one that took all the dogs too. That really drove it. Ooh. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. literally true. That's country. what got people to care, finally. That's one dog, <laughs> dog, dog virus. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, Not yeah. far from probably being the truth. Yeah, it was oh. the, the, the Trump virus, the red meanies, and the dog virus. <laughs> and the dog virus is yeah. okay okay uh, all Love right it. so she uh she says i'll get you loaded up i've also got some supplies uh i'm then going to take i want to give some of my my notes to mr goldwater uh you seem outfitted to properly track and maintain notes uh, i will take most of the rest with me what i will include is some contact information for others in project morningstar uh, obviously, this operation is dead. Um, hopefully, you can save Kay and some vestige of what we tried to achieve. Certainly, I'm I'm very pleased that uh, B and D are still with us. So we've we've obviously achieved something because we're both here with you. Uh, but at the minute I load you into that truck and you drive off, I'm just going to start. I mean, I'm an old woman, but I'm going to walk for the edge of the desolation and. Uh, basically put the period on the end of this. Understood. So she walks you to the place where she's concealed and uh, it is a bit of a bump. Nobody spots, spots it way off, but knows enough to know that somebody that's not as trained or familiar with desolation, it'd be pretty good. Uh, it's covered over pretty well. And uh, she asks for help. You pull the cover off and it's got She's built basically kind of a shelter lean to kind of bump in the earth and then dug in a little bit. It's almost like a car park in the middle of the apocalypse. And uh, yeah, there's a crappy old, I'm thinking uh, the truck from Twilight. And don't, don't judge me. I had daughters the right age. Um, but I remember <laughs> that I think it had a name and it was the right sort of like half broke down like pickup truck looking thing. It's like that. Uh, and she's actually painted the word Sally on the side and has to bring all the stuff out. And she, yeah, there's enough gasoline to get you uh, almost a thousand miles, which according to Nomi would be, would get you almost anywhere it's likely that they went. 
I mean, it's not going to get you all the way to Houston, uh, which is where the cathedral is. But the believers probably have some point because they wouldn't have enough, have enough gas unless their vehicles were full of extra cans. So they would go to some other location first. So it looks like you're good. And it's fair uh, to assume that they didn't get too far because they it wasn't too long ago that they attacked, right? Correct. It was half a day. Okay. And and did we do we know if they based off of tracks that they or information that they used uh, vehicles or not? So you can talk to Grace, who has limited information because she was there for part of the attack, but some of her own, essentially children, forced her into the panic room. And at that point, she didn't see anything. And are uh, there tracks in the desert or in the dirt? There are. Okay. You have to go a little bit away because you know, you're know you all block blocking it up right now. Uh, but it looks like to you, and then she says that sounds right, a truck a car and two motorcycles. Okay. And, and, and it's clear what direction so, they came from and where they went. Yes. And it's in the sand. So all you have to do is follow tire tracks. Great. Your only concern is if any form of sandstorm picks up, it's going to wipe at least half the tracks. Right. The problem with deserts is always tracking is like a joke as long as there's no sand, you know, over time, it'll settle, but generally, it's like, look, they went that way. So as long as there isn't a sandstorm, you, you can very easily follow them. Awesome. All right, you fill up. And uh, oh, so who's going to drive? Is that going to be Goldwater or is uh, Navad want to? So so how big is the ca- It's a pickup truck, right? So it's got a, a, a bed. You can fit three people up front tight or two loose. Everybody else will have to be in the bed. So I'm terrible at any kind of ranged combat and I can drive. So maybe our our gunslingers should sit in the back in case we run into any kind of trouble. Um, I'm useless to sitting in the bed, um, whereas Goldwater, you and Eric both could take care of business and 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 you too, Nomi. Astute. When you take a look at the thing, she's actually put some pipes in places to hold on. Did you say you two know me in the front or in the back? Oh no, you that you would you would be a good shooter in the back. Okay, great. I didn't know. I, I missed it because I didn't know. If you oh no, me no, and, then, the and then and then Goldwater said I was astute. No, <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> a stooge. Got it. Okay. So. <laughs> If you're putting the long range violence in the bed, it sounds like Navad and then uh, B and D sitting in the cab. Yeah, I think that's yep. I think that makes the most sense. And with D in the middle, because B might need the window and has a pistol, but right. D is like, does it always smell so different out here? She's like all full of that kind of shit. Does did, does <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing D does not have any weapons. She does not. That's her intellect. Grace will tell you we gave her combat training. It doesn't seem to have stuck. We tried really hard. I tried really hard. I was there every day. I was never late. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to drive. So (laughs) buckle up. Oh, my gosh. She's so cute. She's my little sister. Oh, my God. So you remember uh, everything that Wynonna taught you. So you yes. know, like literally you you probably pick up, correct me if I'm wrong, but considering the way she was teaching you and she did this in stream, would you be like the newly out of high school driver? Because she's <laughs> oh. like check your mirror, adjust your shit. Look, look, uh, <laughs> uh, there's a method to everything. <laughs> in the same in the same way that to cast a spell successfully, you must go through your written checklists correctly. Same with driving. So, um, I'm out here encouraging him. Like, you just do whatever you need to do, sweetie. I'm here. You can talk to me like she's here. It's okay. You can project her onto me. Is there a seat belt? Yeah, lap. There's a okay. lap belt. Not the safest gonna put it on anyway it was caught probably and that's true with a lot of this post-apocalyptic shit 
it's either got 17 point harnesses for danger driving or they cut right. that shit off because it gets in the way. Sure. Okay. I put on the lap belt. I adjust the mirror. I adjust the mirror. <laughs> so I, 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 at that point, slap the roof and go, let's get out of here, man. Come on. I scream back at Eric. Let him do his thing. He's doing amazing. Uh, can I say I'm just really excited to be here? Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is a car, right? Yeah, this is a car. Well, it's a truck. Um, oh. it's kind of a logical ca it's a category. So it's a vehicle. Car. Navad, sweetie, you just focus on I got I got it. It's it's like okay. uh it's like you know it's a thing that goes forward propulsion woo i i poke, poke my head through the window after hearing this conversation and i'm like navad you got you got yourself a keeper here i i i would i would let i would i would impress her as much as possible this is about your intellectual equal so i would go for it no me what are you saying i'm saying you're obviously out of his league and so uh, if he is, you know, he's a young male and I understand the, the pressures of a young male and this is a young female. And that's, let her breathe, uh, she's barely cognizant. I don't even know if she is like past infantile uh, laboratory stage. Nope. Okay, oh, no, okay. Never, Clearly never we cannot, this is not a, we can't. All right, I, I, re I retract, I retract. I thought I gave her, I, you know what? I thought if there was grass on the lawn, you mowed it, but that's clearly doesn't mean. Oh, I don't know anything. Yeah, I got it. Never mind. Never mind, Avad. You deserve better than that. Thanks, Nomi. I, I like his hoodie, though. Don't want, you don't want to say that. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Uh, drive. She leans over. Are you ready? She, she leans over to be. He looks mysterious. <laughs> No, hope he can use magic. Oh my god, it's amazing. He's very impressive. Nevada, are you ready to punch this thing? Yeah, let's go. All right. Yes. So you try to punch it, and it's an old cranky truck that backfires. It kind of uh -huh. moves forward, so it doesn't uh -huh. it's not like as Dukes a hazard as he maybe would have liked. But you're right. moving forward, man. Okay, right. dude. So you leave the remains of Limbo and Grace. Uh, she, by the way, wanted one last hug from B. B, would you accept a hug from Grace? Sorry, what was that? Grace tries to hug you when you leave. Um, mom, I, uh, thanks. Just, you know, I uh, Fist bump. Let's fist bump, Mom. So she instead hands you uh, a, a hypodermic. All right. Instead, these are antibiotics. So oh. if you encounter anything that's making you ill, you maybe try this. Mom, thank you. And then she fist bumps you. <laughs> D gives her a huge hug and that is miserable with anime tears with the little lines running down from her face and all that shit. So you leave what's left of Limbo and Grace uh, mid to late afternoon. Off you go into the red sand. Um, it's about hour, two hours in. Uh, I, there will be a conversation now between B and D. Colt, can you put uh, Danielle and I two up, please? That's fine, we just do it like this. Um, so during the ride, she leans over. So what's it like? What are you talking about? The world. <laughs> I don't know if you're ready for all that. Well, I kind of have to be, huh? I guess so. Yeah, there's really no use protecting you from it. Um, I mean, I don't mind the comments about being young or from a lab, but I'm not, not really 
dumb. So I kind of know what you've been saying. And right now my real problem is I don't really know anything outside limbo. And that's a thing we can fix, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. This, this helps a lot. Um, basically we're fucked. Uh, angel. Oh, I'm not ready for that. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I mean, maybe, and she kind of looks over at Navad. I, mm. I get these weird dreams. Do you get those? I mm. wake up all squirmy. But then I usually have pancakes that I'm fine. You have the luxury of pancakes? That's amazing. That'll wipe any bad dream. Well, they're made out of, I think, beetle larva protein and some kind of fuzzy stuff that grow in the dome. So, I mean, they look like what I expect pancakes are supposed to look like, but they kind of taste like smeg. <sighs> the syrup helps. Oh, I'm what's, so what's it like? Tell me everything. Uh, Mike, in uh, like out of character, do you want me to like go through some stuff or do you want me to- Go ahead, like, and, go ahead and start, man. Improv your ass off. I'll pull it out when it's no longer helpful. Okay. <sighs> Look, sweetheart. Um, long story short, angels are, are nothing like what anybody thought about. We initially thought that they were agents of a god that doesn't give a shit about us and doesn't exist. Really? Uh, Grace said they're hostile alien invaders. <laughs> uh, something like that. We had, um, one. we had one on display in the big lab. It was dead. What? But he was really handsome. You had an alien in, in the lab? Uh huh, with big wings. It was beautiful. We I'm... extracted his genetic material to make you and I and the other sister. Oh my god. I still haven't even fully wrapped my mind around that part of it all, to be honest with you. But basically, uh, in, in not trying to skip over it, but trying to get you the rest of the way caught up, uh, angels. Angels have, have used us as, as humans, or humanoids, or whatever the hell we are, to, uh, to, to like harvest recyclables of all things. And it's, it's absolutely turned the world into chaos. Uh, everything looks, everything looks like, like, like an absolute wasteland. It's so she looks at you and she's been doing this cute little furrowed brow thing to look like she's understanding, but it's clearly a learned behavior. And at that point, she kind of stopped doing it and says, okay, I mean, you said a lot of things, but like, so like, why do people hurt each other? Um, I don't know if I'm equipped to handle all of that one. What's, what's love? Oh. <laughs> what, is I, it, what is a kiss? I wouldn't know. Oh. She kind of looks sidelong over at Navad again. Ah, don't, do not. Oh, God, no, absolutely no. You need to understand the world before you start thinking about this whole, absolutely not, I forbid it. I will switch you seats. Oh, okay. Grace didn't like guns, but you have a gun. Should I have a gun? No, oh my God, no. Okay, I'm gonna stay over here with my gun out the window like I'm supposed to. You're okay. gonna keep your eyes on the prize, which is out the window, not in the car. But all your friends in the back all have guns. We're prepped for it all, sweetie. I, we gotta figure out what you and me are and what's going on inside of us before we can be fully equipped to know if you need a gun or not. Why wouldn't you hug Grace? You know she loves you, right? I don't know if I know what that means anymore. You should have been at your funeral. It was really nice. I know. I'm sorry. Okay, back to the full group, please. Thank you very much. Uh, you are after the believers. I don't need any rolls. This is. 
uh, yeah, you're, it's definitely a truck and car and two motorcycles. Uh, you drive for, it's getting to be early evening, so it's dusk at this point. Uh, and eventually, there's the, cho the dreaded choking noise from the engine of your vehicle. And it sputters and stops. <sighs> Um, hey guys, the, um, the truck's not moving anymore. Well, uh, we are very aware <laughs> we're all in the truck. Let me take a look at it. I, I can, well, well, I, I didn't, I didn't stop driving on purpose. The truck stopped on me. That's what I, I meant. I, I assumed. It's okay, sweetie. We know, we know it's okay. Let me look at it. I can see what's up. So uh, she's going to need someone to hold an oil lantern. Uh, flashlights are hard to come by and expensive because money in this world is batteries. So you tend not to put your money in the old flashlights that don't necessarily work. So it tends to be literally lanterns. And since it's dusk and getting dark, she may need light very shortly. So who's going to be out there with her holding the light? I will. I'll do it. Okay. Um, while this is going on, and nobody's holding the light. Uh, hang on. Uh, yes. Um, cold water comes around the other side. Uh, can I have, uh, Colt, do you have uh, B and gold water? Oh, no, no, no trouble at all. That's shadow cold, ladies and gentlemen. Well, as there, as as uh, as I'm holding the lantern and I see gold water come up, I'll just say, "Hey, actually, can you hold this? Because my skill set's so much more important than." And you and others, but particularly you recently, when we were meeting with Nomi for the first time and I presented her with a contract, you yelled at me. You made fun of me. You. <laughs> You, you, sc you scoffed at my contracts. You, you said, why are you always doing this? What is the matter with you? Why, why do you have to do this to people? Just let her go. Just let her, let it pass. You have a job. You chose to be a journalist and I never get in your way. And I will never get in your way because I respect what you do. It has value. You are helping people by giving them information and news. And I'm trying to help people by giving them a sense of structure and a way for us to rebuild by taking from those who took from us. And I guess I just, nobody understands. And I just want you to understand before I, before maybe one of us dies. Goldie, I'm so sorry. I, I know I've given you a lot W9 and a W4 and W2s. I don't even know if there's any W6s, but we could talk about it. It's not like I'm not actually interested. I, I just, I don't know. I, I'm trying to connect. I'm trying to connect, Goldie. And I feel like you care about those things so much. And I wanted to joke with you about something. And I don't know. But I just thought that maybe, um, Maybe if I joked about the thing that you cared about, that you would understand that I cared about you. I love you, Goldie. I remember when, when I saw my siblings and I, I went from not knowing I had any to, to seeing them all, all dead, almost all of them. And, you know, Nomi's, Nomi's great. Nomi's really great, but she, she didn't understand. You guys came and helped me right away. I, I, I was with my family and I, I didn't feel connected to them at all. 
But Goldie, you guys are my family. You're the closest thing I've ever had, really. I feel similarly. <laughs> I love you, Goldie. I'm sorry. It's okay. I, I, I do feel better after having this conversation. The stream's down. <laughs> Or maybe it's just me. Sorry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I was like, this is such a good moment. And then I just saw it click up and I was like, no. Okay. And then I ruined it. And I get a, 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 a camera would pull back at this point. Uh, and can I have the whole group again, please? Uh, that's amazing. Perfect. Uh, all right. So you, uh, I'm going to need a bodge check, please. You get a bonus of a die because you have plenty of help. Okay, is this okay. uh bees doing it yep okay Ooh, uh nope okay so it takes about an hour which is actually gonna you know potentially be i would assume at some point nomi are, are you a patient or impatient person i am i am a uh, I know that I have clients and that everyone works at their own time and pace. I do not like purposely wasted time. So my thought process is like, it can't be helped that the truck, you know, broke down. It has to be fixed. But if by the time I come back from double checking that we're still following correct tracks, had assuming that there hadn't been a sandstorm, and they're still talking about their fucking problems, I have a problem, you know? And like, the, if the truck's not running by a certain point, now I'm ha I have a problem. So you get the sense at some point, uh, B, you'd see Nomi not really confronting, but kind of observing. She would occasionally kind of look over with sort of like a, let's see if this is still progressing. Uh, but obviously after that conversation, uh, you, you tend to be pretty fixed on your work, right? Yeah. Okay. So she's not doing anything that would make you impatient. Then. Like she has a brief conversation, but then is, you know. If she's if she's engaged in the work, I'm not. I don't have a problem. Okay. And uh, B, do you get impatient or frustrated? Or are you calmly fixing the engine while in the middle of the chase? Uh, if it's if it's not going well, I'm definitely a little less like, ha ha, and a lot more like, oh, all right, God bless America. Let's get this all going and in order. Navad, you notice that uh, Dee has a diary and she's writing down every vulgarity that B says. <laughs> Perfect. I love it. So, she's like, she yells, God bless America, and she's, oh, she writes that. Uh, <laughs> so, the problem with the, the fix, uh, B, is that you've not gone to the desolation a lot. Like part of the thing that may come out of your mouth is like, this is why I don't go into the fucking desolation. Cause it's all like the sand that's here is nuclear waste and like rubbled city and mm -hmm. people. Like, so it's that red dust what used to be Texarkana, right? It, it's so it's awful. Like it gets, it's uh, very, very bad for things like uh, internal combustion engines. So you're like, I don't have the equipment to redo the pistons or that right. Kind of shit, right? So you probably have to drain the oil, things like that. Like that's got all gummed up and it has become like, like play, the, that uh, magic sculpt shit. Okay. Uh, so, but fortunately, uh, Grace has got a bunch of shit back there for that. So you can do that. Okay. Uh, I, I need after that hour, another check, you get an additional bonus to your badge for help and another extra die because you're farther along this particular task. Oh, six. Okay, so it took her about an hour, but then boom, the sound of life from the cranky engine. And uh, <laughs> Sally <laughs> is alive. Nice. While you're sitting alone, Navad, uh, D said T actually blushes. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Do, do you have a girlfriend? Bless you. 
Yeah, um, I'm his girlfriend. <laughs> so if I was shooting that, we're having a one to one, right? Like a two up, and she literally leans in the window, and if <laughs> and the camera would slide over, and then D instantly gets like kind of crestfallen and just says, Oh. But that doesn't mean you won't find somebody that you're meant for. It's just oh listen. wait, wait, are you ambidextrous? I can use both hands, but I don't think that that's what you mean. Oh, um, polynomial? That would mean that I am a certain amount of numbers, but no. Darn. Are you? Or, or that I have, I have multiple names is actually what I mean. <laughs> Nomial? I don't know if that's true. Nomi! Polynomial! Oh my God, you are polynomial. So we can both be your girlfriend. Listen, I'm never one to turn down you know, or an orgasm for uh, stress exertion. But when I've learned about your relevant innocence, I just feel that it's incumbent upon me to keep you uh, as pure as possible. And, you know, you might die today. You realize that, right? Oh, yeah. Grace told me every morning. It, it would be unfair if I didn't tell you it's like it would suck if you died without knowing what pleasure was like. So like there's a there's a there's a saguaro bush over there that you could hide behind and you can intimately pleasure yourself just as much as a man or a woman could. I used to do that. I liked the Berenstein bears. Say that you like the Berenstein bears. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, never mind. I, I would go in the corner and I'd pleasure myself for hours. Okay. What's an orgasm? Navad, um, can we, can I, can I confer with you in, outside, please? Um, yeah, okay, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, so we got- so B, B gets back in the car with D. I got good news, sister. Mm. Navad and Nomi are my boyfriend and girlfriend now. Oh no. <laughs> they told me to go behind the bush and pleasure myself. Oh no! You what? <laughs> we're we're without an earshot. No, we're books? not hearing this. Do you have any books I could use? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. No. Oh, it's okay. Uh, My favorites are the ones with <laughs> bears. Do you have any bears like that? Bears? Uh huh. You get or the curious caterpillar. You okay? What we're ple no? What we're not doing is pleasuring ourselves with bears and caterpillars right now. The group continues on their way. Uh, you are now driving through the early evening, so it's dark. Uh, fortunately, the battery survives you turning on the headlights, but it does that, you know. Clearly, you are taxing what little power you have left. Um, I'm assuming being Nevada, some part, of, some part of your brain is like, if I have to, is there a spell I can manage? Or, because this really feels like oh, yeah. you're, you're writing something that can fall apart, um, you know, very like 1960s comedy style where it would just literally unfold around you. Right. Yeah, uh, and the only upside is driving across the desolation is fairly even. So it's not a rough, like doing this where you normally are, it's very uneven. So you need like big knobby tires and shit right. otherwise the thing shakes itself apart. So at least here, you're you're fairly level. Um, so it's, okay. you'd be, it's, it's evening probably between three and four hours since you left Limbo. Um, at this point, uh, there, um, it's, I'm not going to have you roll because somebody's going to see it. Uh, up ahead, it looks like uh, evidence that they stopped and broke probably to rest and refuel. So there's like the remnants of a camp that's been abandoned with no one in it. So we'll know okay. me get out and take a look. Yeah, I think it's important to see. I think we want to know like, how well fed are they? Did they have bowel movements today? Uh, did, when did they leave? 
We're definitely accruing um, information on our targets. Give me a landlord check, please. Landlord is under. Oh, got it. Survival? Oh, shit. She's real. It's your job. You know your stuff. Yeah. She's a, she's a BDS. With one, uh, two successes. Hi, buddy. Beautiful. Um, so you see. So this would be like being in the parking lot after the gathering of the juggalos. Say that again. It would be like being in the parking lot. And I hate to throw shade because the juggalos, uh, you know, they. They're not bad people. No. They're one they're, of the nicest groups of people I've ever been around in my entire life. Like, <laughs> like how amazing Shaggy 2 Dope has turned out to be. Like, you know, like. Uh, so no shade at They've all. really come around. It was. Oh, really for sure. Around. But on the other hand. But there's a lot of makeup. I've seen uh, pictures of yeah. the shows. I could probably pick. Oh, let's let's say like, like a secondary NASCAR site, right? Where my point is, the bathrooms. Yeah, let's. I'm sorry, Juggalos. I love you. Um, NASCAR. I'll throw shade over there. There we go. Fuck them. Um, are we all on board with the NASCAR shade? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Them. We can throw so, some shade at NASCAR. <laughs> so they're a little behind the times. Point being, this is not the kind of group that would dig a bathroom pit and share it and put it aside from the camp there's literally piss and shit just outside the circle of what the camp would have been yeah so this is like just you know, borderline barbaric the the kind of people that went uh, you know it's been a century so their generation didn't do this but the kind of people that would have gone apocalypse fuck yeah there's no rules I'm gonna eat French fries while taking a shit. You know, it's it's those. That kind, kind of, of surprises me, based off the fact that they're really keen on getting the angels to save them. Like, is this not counterintuitive to their behavior? So, what you get from that is they seem to have fixated on their path being violence. I so see. It's not like they become Ned Flanders. They they. So it's important, like. The kind of thing nobody can pick up like oh they're obviously they've obviously decided their kill count will get them there and because that's the way they're built these are they're like jesus freak proud boys uh-huh if that makes sense yeah um and the campsite reflects that like you're saying a lot of things. words that jessica and nomi doesn't like fair i don't like saying them but yeah. I've got, got fresh water right here. Great. Um, yeah. And soap, hopefully. Oh, Go on. As soon as the stream is over. Um, so other things you find out. They definitely did refuel because there's some drips of, uh, not the gas things that evaporate, but there's like oil drips or things like that. So they did some basic, like, they're encountering a little bit of what you're encountering. Okay. So driving through desolation. The other thing that's the big sign that no one can miss, and you don't need two successes, is the motorcycle they left behind. They left behind a motorcycle? They left behind a motorcycle. Oh, fuck yeah, I'm making that shit work. So whoever's got uh, Bodge, so are you just going to do that or are you going to get help, Nomi? Oh, I definitely need help because I apparently have zero tech in all. <laughs> so I think the highest one, if you have zero, by the way, you actually can't make the roll. If you have zero, it's a thing you literally can't do. It's like you can't do any of the magic shit. Yeah, I got it. Zero for Bodge. Uh, and that's not true. If you have a number and it's modified down to zero, you still get to roll it back. Not no, true everything, everything zero is zero. Be. Yeah. So B, does B have the best Bodge? Well, that was a lot of Bs. I have a three. Anybody B to three? Okay, go ahead and check it out with your Bodge, please. Ooh, yes. Did you get one success? Mm -hmm, one. Okay. Uh, it The engine is choked. You don't know if you could fix this in the field. Uh, it's the kind of thing, again, like you were, the kind of cursing you were making, like, you know, if you had the equivalent of a garage, you could rebuild part of it and get it going again, which is probably why they left it. So they probably break, broke to camp when the motorcycle started acting up. They checked it and they're like, this is fucked. Sorry, Nomi. 
No, uh, no single cause for you. Well, and it's fine. I don't want to, it's not, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, you know, I'm also incapable of scavenging, so I might suggest you take this for parts if you need to. The other thing you could do if you wanted at some point to refurbish this is you could put it in the back of the pickup. It would make it a little tighter for the people in back because you're hanging in the rails. There's actually room right in the middle. So Nomi, you want to take it, it for later? The leftovers yeah. for Nomi? It's uh, it sounds, it seems impractical, but uh, <laughs> but uh, you know, I appreciate your enthusiasm. Who's got the best salvage roll? Mm. Sorry, where's that? Which one? Under tap. Scavenge. Scavenge. Or Scavenge. Got it. Got it. Thank you, Sally. Sorry, I was like, oh, I don't know. It's sound, it's speak, I'm monitoring so much else. No, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah one of course. success. Oh, I was just asking you had the, the. Oh, well, it's, yeah, I have it. I have, I have a zero. That's not a white power symbol. It's a literally a zero. Oh, okay, I have God. a one. <laughs> Woo! So, <laughs> boy. so you get uh, four chunks of, um, uh, I think it's automotive. What's. On the row, lower right hand side of your sheet are the categories of salvage. Vehicle. Vehicle. You get four units of that. Okay. So be stripped them. Although some of that I think would be as you go. Yeah. So that would leave, well, okay. So you might want to not want to do that because to do that, you'd have to ride the back with the motorcycle, leaving D alone with the bottom. Mm. Or you'd have to wait for like another hour. While she strips the, the motorcycle. Guys, should we strip it or leave it? We gotta leave it. This is not let's go. Here. Yeah, let's leave it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna set your karma to positive right now. You currently, have, as far as I can tell, have good karma. And we'll start there. Uh, all right. So you head off again into the night. Uh, as you proceed, the wind starts picking up. It picks up some of the sand with it, reducing visibility. So you start getting that thing where you get the, the visible beams from the headlights, which is always super cool when you shoot in movies. Uh, but on the other hand, it's making Nevada a little nervous. Fair. All right. I am now going to need a awareness check from everyone. Ooh. Oh, awareness, we. Uh, nothing, not good. Not surprising from Navad. No, I'm aware. Yeah, I'm, gonna I'm very, very aware. Yeah, let me go around and check. Uh, I want to get you in order on my list, not to give anything away, but this might lead to combat. Okay, Vanomi, Coldwater, I've got T over here. All right, Eric Passman. I'm sorry. Pass fail. So pass. Oh, pass. You, you got oh yeah, I passed. Yep. Okay. So B pass fail. Fail. Navad pass fail. Uh, I failed. I only, I only have a two. Uh, <laughs> no me was a, a success, right? Success. Goldwater. Success. Okay. D is a fail. Okay. So everybody inside the car didn't. didn't oh know God, that's true. The car. So the people <laughs> in, the, in the cab, but that makes sense. Yeah. So Yikes. I'm gonna need an initiative, an initiative check from everyone, even if you fail. Okay. I'll All of our around, I'll go around again, so don't just call them out. Uh, Eric, what's yours? Hold on. How do we? Well, I'm sorry. What do we roll for the initiative? Your, Just one your six. Speed in dice and add them together. Twenty-eight. Lower left-hand corner of the sheet. Uh, B. I, uh, despite failing my uh, 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 awareness check, miraculously rolled a twenty. Well, that's twelve. Twenty-six. I'm almost as fast as Eric on that one. B. Almost. I almost maxed <laughs> maxed out my dice. Twenty-two. Nice rolls, Nomi. Twelve. 
Okay. What's your speed? Six. Okay, so yeah, it's possible to roll 12, absolutely. Okay. So I just rolled six <laughs> dice now, that's it, yeah. Yes, roll six dice and add them together. Bad, uh, bad roll. That's a real bad roll. Cold water, what you got? 35. Yeah, Whoa. You're, you're a combat monster. It's you're a fire fire fire. Fire. I rolled three sixes and three fives, so. God. Right. That's the IRS for you. So <laughs> as the darkness and the sandstorm picks up around you, Three creatures come in out of the dark and the cloud. May I have the image of the creature, please, Colt? Oh no. Ooh. So there are Oh yeah, I've seen these. There are three of those. They are eight feet tall and massive and four-legged. Uh, their skin is gray and mottled. Uh, no me make a beast mastery roll. Yeah, I was gonna ask, and maybe it's based off of this role, if I have experience with these. It is, in fact, based on the show. Uh, two fives, that's it. Partial. So what you know is that, not shockingly, uh, so the names in this setting tend not to be super creative. It tends to be like, you know, caterpillar. It's the thing, you, when you look at it, you, you say, yeah. that's what people would use. So these are stone sharks. Stone what? I'm sorry? Stone sharks. Stone sharks. Awesome. So what you know about stone sharks, they're not exactly peaceful. Uh, you got partial. Okay. They usually only attack when they're starving or angry. So if you keep your distance, you can usually just go right by them. These three seem enraged already. So they are pissed off. And what's their distance from us to them? You are, unfortunately... You're all at near. So they are oh. merged because uh, it's it, not We're all what? It, I'm so sorry, Mike. It's a little hard to hear you. It's, it's, uh, my, it's my problem, not anyone else's. So is anybody else enjoy, Is it? Should I watch me or is it just volume? It's on just her? me. I don't know okay. why. No, that's fine. No. Um, I think uh, you can you can watch yourself too, Mike. Lean forward or whatever. Or, I, yeah, I know. Those are lean back. You're supposed to remind me, Colt. Damn it. <laughs> Blame Colt. Oh, you didn't know I, I don't watch the I don't watch the chat screen. Uh, feel free to just. <laughs> uh, all right. So you did your job. Sorry, man. Um, <laughs> I, I warned him to taser me. Um, all right. So I'm I'm leaning in. Is that better? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Cool. That's all on me then. So, uh, what was your question? Uh, you, so I said how close we were, and then you said unfortunately. Ah, okay. They're near. So near is, is the second range category. It's the battlefield. So they, because of the reduced uh, uh, sight and because of the dust and the darkness, they came right out of nowhere. Shit. So and yeah. it would not be advisable based off of their build to like run the car into them. You could if you want to destroy the car. That's right. That's what I meant more than anything. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. So the first person up uh, is Goldwater, who is not it's the awareness thing when you're in combat. One of the things you can do with it is it's whether or not you have a surprise round. It's the people that failed will not be reacting the first round because they'll be going, oh, shit. Uh, everybody else will get an action. Yeah. So I know you said that this really wouldn't come into play all that much, but that if someone really wanted to jump initiative, which I really want to do only because of how bad my initiative was, do the people that didn't roll, uh, like if Navad doesn't see these these people that are these stone sharks is he like aware that they're there but doesn't know how to deal with it or like still doesn't see it and is driving aware that they're there but can't take action okay i want to i want to just do an action where i like if if the stone sharks are on to like the right of us and we're like about to run into them i want to like like shock navad like by like touching his like thigh that makes him like hopefully like swerve i just i just want to like sexually shock him so that he has to react sexual shocking I yeah, sexual shocking say, see ways that would work and ways that that could go wrong and you know what i'm uh, open to it for certain no no me is doing her best to guess all right. on so, how he's gonna react. um priority actions also called jumping the queue sometimes you gotta do something right away for one reason or another, waiting your turn just won't do. When this when this happens, attempt a priority action. Uh, make a reaction save, please. 
I think we lost him, unfortunately. Is it me or? Yes, please. Uh, You're the reaction. one trying to jump order. Got so you it. Need to make the reaction set. Where is the reaction under? It's a save saving throw. More left, and Got they it. have gray bars. Got it. One six. So you succeed. If you succeed, you can take your action out of turn. Any skill or required will be done with a one die penalty. Your initiative does not change, but you lose your next action because Great. you've already taken it. Great, that's so fine by me. You have used an advanced rule. Okay, good. So that means you can jump the queue to touch the bud's by. <laughs> Inner thigh. <laughs> that, that was not a sentence I thought I would say, but you do it. Um, Navad, I'm going to give well, you. Well. I'm going to give you a reaction roll. Okay. To make a reaction save. Okay. Ooh, don't have a ton of dice on this. I only have three. Uh, nope. Okay. <laughs> so uh, if you succeeded, nope. it would allow you to not have the round of surprise. I will remind you okay. that this background behind me means you have good karma. Uh, you could at this point invoke good karma. I, I, I think at this point, uh, Navad has <clears throat> not invoked karma for comedic effect. I think that the Nomi touch is it has is, an effect, is but not the desired one. It's well. Come on, man. Uh, <laughs> I, it's it's we're gonna let's use that car. Let's use that karma. Wait, <laughs> what are you saying? You turned around. Okay. Oh oh uh, oh, you, oh wait, he turned me on now. <laughs> yeah, I, I. No, no, I turned it. it so you are invoking the karma. Who's turned on here? I don't get I it. Know, I really I mean, need to know that. Are we all? My a head bit right now. Is... You touch his thigh. Okay. He what? Oh. You're going to get huh? your action on your initiative. So her action has given you on 26, so you can do your action. Uh, Goldwater. Oh, okay. Goldwater, you're still the first person up. That doesn't change that. Yeah. Um, how close are these things to each other, not to me? One over there, one up ahead. It's kind of a triangle in front of you. Okay. Up All behind right, cool. you. All right. Well, I'm going to shoot the one closest to me with my shotgun. Right in front of you? Yeah. Okie dokie, Smokey. That's the one. Go ahead, give me a shoot. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no successes. Wow. <laughs> okay, you get me ones. I did, actually. Okay, so the gun doesn't jam. Uh, all right, then we go to the next initiative, which is Eric. I'm going to shoot the furthest one away because that uh, That'll gives be me a one, better advantage. One on your left, but they're all clear. They're all they're all close, so they're all at the second range category. Okay. Two fives. Okay, so that's going to be a near miss. Uh, I didn't go over this when I ran back over the combat with you guys. Near miss means when you're all done calculating your damage, cut it in half, round up. And I'll remind right. you of that if you need it. So Eric, go ahead and you're using your gun. So you unfortunately you find out their armor is four against. All right, I got one hit point. So you divide that by two, round that up. They take one hit point. point. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I'm gonna say that makes a kaping sound. Uh, Navad, so you can actually react to this and try to drive and get around them if you like, or ram them or whatever. Um, I think my impulse is going to say, I'm going to try to drive around them. I'm going to try to evade the, the driving. Okay. Binona has encouraged me not to uh, crash into things. So I think just the um, intensity and, and whatever, I'm going to default to my natural position, which is to um, drive around them. Okay, so you got a few options here. If you're literally going to just... Okay. You are moving, but not try to change your relationship to anybody. You're maneuvering the car. That means you don't change the right. category or anything. You're moving forward. Right. Not in the range. They're, they're here, here, and here. If you want yep. to do a quick turnaround to get away, you could, but if you fail the drive roll, you might damage the car. 
Uh, or you could try to go like between this guy and this guy and pull a maneuver. But I think I'm going to try to like serpentine. So you want to just basically. If I fail. Keep the battle going. Just don't fuck up the car is your prim your primary goal. That's I think that's yeah that's what my gut is telling me. So I literally can yep. hear the voice of Winona, sort of like you know keeping you on this kind of cautious path. Uh, give me a drive at right. a drive bonus because you're doing kind of the responsible oh. thing, uh, which is okay. easier to do. Okay. Oh baby, I got a six. So and the fact that Nomi jumped order to do that to allow you to do that means you might have been saved from ramming into one of these things. So good on both of you. Not quite Thanks, good Nomi. enough to change the karma back, but still good. Uh, all right, cool. Awesome. So then B loses her round because she is surprised. Uh, then the monsters. So the monsters are going to attack the car. Unless not the car. Um, does anyone want to try to draw the attention and take the attack? I did my stuff. Okay. Uh, all right. So here we go. Fuck you, car. We're big monsters. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a hit, a near miss, and a miss. I got all the results. All right. Then they're doing that. The clubs do that damage. The car has that against bashing. So, uh, that's not great. Okay, that's three points. Okay, that's not terrible. So that's only going to be the... So as you're driving, and Navad, this is very... It's got to be super nervous-making because as you're maneuvering, and about oh, yeah. the, the fact that you're evading and zigzagging cuts dice from my attack roll but they're smashing oh, night. The car and dinging the fuck out ah. of it but you keep pulling away and pulling loose so the car I think B would be the most aware of like oh not, not the engine oh geez. yeah I was thinking about it the whole time <laughs> <laughs> so so far Sally's okay uh, alright so then we go to uh, D D shakes off her stunness and then Nomi. Uh, I lose my turn because of me Oh, because you already turns. did your thing. You're right. So now we loop around to the next turn. Eric, you're first. Oh, no, I'm not. Goldwater. Goldwater's Gold, first. You're all freaking high. I did. Let's keep <laughs> shooting. All right, 35, boy. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's shoot it up. Uh, okay. I got successes. But I did not roll one. Oh, you don't only you only have to worry about the one if you got no oh. sixes or fives. Gotcha. Thanks. Thank you. So uh, you and then I'll it. do my damage. Yeah, its defense is four against guns. Two. Okay. Uh, while this is all happening, I I uh, I dial into my little pad and I'm like, "Jeepies, go get out of the car and start getting our action shots." Uh -huh. You can't react. Yet. Huh? Uh, you can't get because you can't react. Yet. Oh, okay. The first round, you lost your action. You can do that very shortly. Got it. Uh, Eric, you're up. I'm going to try a double shot. Sweet. Same mm, one. Baby. Double shot that bastard. Make him pay for fighting you. Yes. Success. Double shots. So you do Two six. Twice. Nice. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I got all kinds of fun stuff. You said it was four? Yep. All right, so I got two fours, two fives, and a crit. Shoot. It comes the, comes the roll on the crit and a four. So that's uh, three, seven, four, five, eight. Nice. And then I get to roll damage for the second shot, right? Okay, so I use a system in all the games I run uh, where I do green, yellow, red. And green means the thing has most of its hit points. Yellow means it's a rod and a half hit points. And when it's red, it's almost dead. After that first shot, it's yellow. Okay. And uh, and then I get to roll damage on the second shot? You do. 
Uh, three. Okay. And it counts. It all adds up. All right. Then Navad. Oh, Lord Navad has vanished using his magic powers. Navad's driving. I'm going to assume he makes the roll. No worries. Uh, he goes paste uh, it. <laughs> you know, never mind. Fuck that. Uh, he blows his roll and the car stops. I invoke. Oh, we just got negative karma. I invoked. Uh, you got. You yeah. stepped away, and we got negative karma, man. I had. A, I, I had negative karma in my real life here for a half a second. So. Uh, God. It's all good. It's all good. All right. So, um, B, you you tell Jeepers to get out and film the combat. Yeah. Uh, her little drone gets out and starts spinning around, shooting uh, shooting footage. Shooting footage, uh, not 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 bullets or pew pews. Yeah, not. No, no pew pews at all. No. Uh, then we go <laughs> to oh the stone sharks. All right, stone sharks. So at this point, stone sharks. They don't care about where the, the demons car. dwell. <laughs> exactly. They don't care about the people inside the cab when they can see people in the back. So there are four people in back. Um, definitely going to attack the two people shooting at me. So Eric, the guy you just shot, attacks you, and he hits you. And what is your armor against bashing? It's the first number. Four. Okay. <laughs> I get one point. Yes. Revenge in kind. Uh, the other one is going to attack Goldwater. No. It is totally. <laughs> He changes his mind right at the last second. <laughs> it gets a I don't want to. <laughs> and it scores two points, half to one. So you take one point as well. Yeah. Super, super freaking unimpressive. So also in the back is Nomi. <laughs> Who's, was there a fourth person in back or is that it? No, it was just the three of us and then the three of them up front. Okay. Yep. Well, that's that's it's a Nevada, B, E, and D. Uh, Nomi, I miss you completely. <laughs> I miss you. Uh, Aww, so on. up front, I need notice rolls from Navad and and B. Okay. Oh yeah, nothing. Ah, I'm good. I got three sixes. Okay, so so D normally looks like this. When the fight starts, she looks like this. <laughs> She's gone super oh. serious and hyper focused. Do you react oh. to that at all? Is that to anybody or just to Navai? Uh, I'm going to lean over to, to B. So I could cross her? <laughs> B. Yeah. yeah. B. Huh? Look at your sister. Look at your sister. Oh. Sweet girl, are you okay? No, me. What? No, me. That wasn't D. That was the GM asking no, me for her action. Oh, so oh, now it's time okay. for my action. Okay, so we, we, cut, we cut away from that little bit of dialogue. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I thought... I thought I thought I thought D was saying no me, me like too. she was gonna me kill too. her. I was like, sorry, <gasps> we're having a scene, but there's also a combat going on. Her name, uh, no, 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 her, no. Totally her, her name is me. <laughs> ah. So, um, Obi, you're up, and you have a creature attacking you. Uh, so you, like you said, there's piping on the truck, right? Yes, there's things to hold on to. Um, I'd like to stand on top of the truck hook my boots underneath the piping on the top railing yep. so that way i'm like locked in yep. and uh shoot my crossbow at like the closest one that's about to hit the car so that's going to be the first range category because he's right in your damn face but you oh, are you serious can... it's in close it's not near no because he's fighting you. it's hand to hand oh with well, then... a oh so that okay Yep. Sadly, they came in and started fighting you once the car stopped. Well, then, uh, out of game, would you suggest using a stabber or the crossbow? What's the crossbow's modifier in the first category? One. So it means you would do a shoot with a minus one die. 
So what's your shoot dice? My shoot dice is somewhere. Upper left? Yeah. Uh, four. So I would shoot three. Correct. And what's and then your... what's the stabber? Yeah. Brawl it's mail, brawl mail. Four. Let's do that. Let's let's do like uh loop one, my left foot in on under the piping and then like kick it and with the stabber. <laughs> Perfect. So you look at the crossbow like yeah. Yeah. Stab, stab, stab. Okay, go ahead. So roll the dice. Shit. I don't have a good, I need a dice roller thingy. One success. Okay, so you succeeded, roll your damage, and that'll be under the weapon somewhere. I awesome, okay. Their defense against this is actually only three. That's two successes, two fives. Okay, so no six, so that means two points of damage. Yep. So you stab it successfully. All right, then we loop back around to Goldwater. All right, so now they're in close combat? Yup, you have one in your face. You could jump out of the car and try to move away with a maneuver, uh, which is one of your simple actions, which is fine. Uh, do you want to do that, or do you want to stay where you are? Huh. Sorry, I have a have a advantage. Okay. Which maybe I could use here. Which one? Run and gun. Yes. So you absolutely do want to get out of the car and run and shoot. Because yes. then I'll be rolling one less die to hit you. The only the only state the thing for the running gun advantage is you need to use a maneuver to run every round while you're shooting. Right. So that, it just makes you an action movie guy. Yeah. So hold on, Mike, because I just want to make sure here. I'm looking at the um, the uh, rule, and yeah. it says that it raises the difficulty of any shoot test against me. Does that it also include melee? Sadly, it does not. Okay. So you got it's actually point. not that useful. No, it's not. Okay. So kind of like so, you know me, you run down your your options. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, have they clustered at all? Well, they're all around the bed of the truck. Okay. So Would I be able to use scatter? One of my other advantages. Sadly, no. <laughs> they would ah! left, right, and back on the trunk, right? That makes the most sense. So scatter is mostly for like, there's some thugs. Two are close to each other. Fuck you, I have a shotgun. Let's right. Really apply here. No, no, I didn't. I didn't figure it would, but I, I wanted to ask. Worth all right. Um, I it's so I'll just. Put the put my shotgun is all right up to its head. Take a shot. Open fire. Take it. Yeah. Just go for it. So this is six dice. I got successes. Roll your damage. And damage is five times. And against guns, it is a four. Two. Two successes. Or two. Sorry, two. Two damage. Yes, two damage. And, and no crits. Nah. Oh, we got to get sixes rolling, guys. All right, uh, Eric, you're up. <laughs> All right, so um, where is the one that I have already damaged? Right in front of you. Okay, so I'm going to um, I'm going to uh, sort of jump back, rack the rack Karen, and take a shot at the one that I've already uh, damaged. Um, and would would sure shot be good in this position? Uh, hang on. By jump back, you mean still staying inside the truck, though, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just get as much distance as I as I can get. Jump and, back, uh, monkey cat. <laughs> Going to shoot a rock dragon. For for the listeners, uh, because <laughs> we've been giving them advances after most games, they're starting to pick up new abilities, which is why these questions are coming up. The characters will get more powerful over time. Uh, so sure shot. Uh, so the, what that does is number of times indicated per combat when wielding a ranged weapon. If you get a partial success, you use the ability and it becomes a hit. So okay, so it's after the dice roll then. Yep, yep, totally. Okay, so I'm gonna aim. I'm gonna aim for the head. I, I don't blame you, and it's a big meaty head to boot. And I have many sixes. <laughs> <laughs> that does you no good right now. 
No, but well, right now, do you have any of the abilities that are triggered by having more than one sex? Because that's what those are for. Okay, so so explain then to me what would happen if oh, what would happen if I use target then as a result? If I aim for the head specifically, I'm tempted to put how many windows I have open on the stream just so people can see what I'm looking at. Um, <laughs> you can make a shoot. <laughs> let's use before. So you would make a shoot attack, dropping dice to shoot. Got it. Oh, okay. If you hit, you add those dice to your damage. Got it. Never mind. I'm all good. I'm just going to go straight up damage. All right, do it. I scored no damage points. That would be zero. Oh, my damage. gosh. Would you like to invoke good karma and roll? I again? would love to invoke good karma and roll again. I, I think this I think that makes a certain amount of sense. Yeah, go ahead. Because that sucks. And now I have many points of damage. <laughs> uh, I have uh, two two sixes. So I've got okay. So oh I've got God. three 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 single hit points right. and two crits. So that's so far nine points. Right. So re-roll, re-roll your sixes. Reroll my sixes. Jeez. And I got two extra. So that's eleven. No, no, that you on the reroll. You're only looking for crits. Oh, okay. So never mind. Okay, so just nine. that's nine. That's nine points. Uh, all right. So finally, he <laughs> goes to one hit point and runs. So on its, you can tell that it's turning to get the fuck out of there. Oh, oh, it runs, does it? It's gonna. Uh, it you blow a big chunk out of its sharky head, uh, and it makes a weird gurgling, howling noise. Mm. The, the VOD. Yeah. Uh, would, would you like to play? Uh, yes, I would. I, w- <laughs> <laughs> uh, I Time to play nuked. It was a street. So I missed my I missed the I missed the combat round last time because I had to go deal with the thing. Um uh the president's still alive, but um uh what I don't know is where what is the status of the truck right now? It is like Shannon, the player, doesn't moving. know what's going on with the truck. It stopped moving. You're not sure what's wrong. The engine failed. It's not starting okay. back up. So you're going to have to look at it after the combat because so yeah. you're in an immobile yeah. truck being attacked from three sides by these terrible monsters. Can we flash yeah, yeah, that yeah. picture okay. again? Oh, oh, I know what they look like. No, I just wanted for the audience. Yeah, yeah. It just, it, you know, oh, yeah. They're, they're fucking. Yeah, those up. guys are. And how big are they? Like man's, They're you know, human size, eight feet tall and about that broad. So those oh. arms are the size of your body. Okay. They're huge. Uh, the four um, legs are helping them walk on the sand of the desolation. Can you give me the full screen again, sir? Okay. Thank you. So what do you do? Yeah. Um, okay. <sighs> okay. So Eric just has been plunking one, then it's about yeah. ready to take off. Yeah. And no mean gold water, each have an opponent, but they're very lightly damaged. Very lightly damaged. So which one would be the closest one to Navad in the driver's seat? I'm going to cast a window. The one on Nomi. The one on Nomi? Oh, no, I'm okay. sorry. Well, that's that's more around. impressive for Navad. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, Nomi. No, um, okay. So which spell are you casting? Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, so, um, so what I want to do, uh, I'm gonna, okay, hold on, I gotta, I, I'm either gonna improvise something or I'm gonna do just do straight up destroy, but I gotta figure out which I want to try. Why don't you start with the destroy uh, and then think about the improvise for the next round for the next round? Oh wait, hold on, destroy is the uh, destroy is for in, inanimate stuff. Oh it's, yeah, you uh, want the ravage? It's ravage. Ravage, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, hold on. I want. I just want to double check if that's uh, exactly how I want to do that one. Uh, not ravage, because ravage is the category. Right. Um, it's it's the uh, is it rend that yep. does stuff to th- to 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 fleshy stuff? Hold on, I gotta double check. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna blast at its legs with that rend. Good. Just cast the rend as well. Okay. Oh, cool. So make your casting test. Okay. Yep. <laughs> okay. I got. <laughs> I got. On five. On a 
on a five die roll. Uh-huh. I got one five. Uh-huh. uh-huh. And I got two ones. Okay. Well uh-huh. that that will not matter because you got a five. So Okay. Oh, hang on. Okay. Oh, if I have a, if I have a partial of the ones, don't derail it. Sorry about this, guys. Right. You're good. Uh, it could possibly have another effect. Don't worry about that right now. Go ahead and do your damage. Uh, okay. Uh, spend your hit points, by the way. Uh, okay. So for um, this, listeners, casting magic has a cost usually in hits. Well, I do have my uh, I do have my little um, once a day. Um, oh yeah, yeah. So material ahead, thing. I'm not going to take damage yet. So what's your know. what's your material? Uh, my material is uh, that's an improvised thing. You like pull something out, like because your tradition is kind of like being a D and D mage. So what's the yeah. thing you pull out of your messenger bag? Uh, the thing that I pull out of my messenger bag is a is a like um is a uh, a, a little little like mini grimoire um <laughs> stapled together of uh like and not stapled like really artfully bound um edition of Bazooka Joe comics that have been like <laughs> stacked together into a little um into like a little mini spell book. <laughs> it's part of his tradition. So he casts a spell, and the thing, uh, and really only B and D would see this. It goes up and sm- like it is consumed by the spell. Uh, I I think, by the way, given your training with Winona and the age of the car, before you cast the spell, you use the like crank to roll down the window. Oh sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I that, very, yeah. Reach out and blast. Okay, so and then the- and then do the blast. Yeah. Your damage. Okay, so what is the um, what is the uh, ba, 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 ba. the magic has changed a little bit. Uh, what is the uh, the hit it's energy? And it only has uh, armor of three. It only has an armor of three. Okay. Okay. So ba, ba, ba. hold on, I gotta make sure that I'm getting this one right. Okay. Uh oh, that's uh four. Okay, no sixes. No sixes. All right, still good. Uh, all right, so Nomi, there's a blast of Eldritch energy from the pickup truck. Uh, I'm not sure you've ever seen that before. All uh, right, and then we go to. It's kind of like a. It's kind of like a blue, f- kind of like a blue flame. In <laughs> comparison to you making your skull mm-hmm. bloom, let's just say, how much more impressive is this F- for you well in terms of your <laughs> like i i'm gonna based off of your answer i will tell you how impressive it is to me so um it's like one of those things where so this is the here's the equivalent of like the the super dorky like kid in the tiktok video in the dance cypher and then he busts out like an amazing just some amazing pop and lock like just like next level <laughs> dance moves it's like it gives off that kind of a vibe you where like it's a magical like, napoleon dynamite kind of a thing yeah yeah it's just like yo what because it's i mean he's like he's got his little thing and he zaps out this like like kind of lasso-y blue energy that like hits the hits the the thing yeah and i'm on top of the truck right as this True. happens so my thought process is that energy reverberates and like like rate like radiates up my whole body i think i'm overwhelmed let's just put it that way <laughs> i just i literally did a real spit tank there thanks nomi <laughs> B, B, what do you do um uh there's no way for me to like crawl under the car and try to fix it while we're while we're no, still out. It's, it's gonna take 10 20 minutes. Okay. Um you could like either open the door, or roll on the window, and shoot at the one on cold water. You have a pistol. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um D says I should get out. Oh 
Uh, no, absolutely. You have no weapons. You can't go. No, absolutely not. Okay, so go ahead and take your shot. Uh, okay. Ouch. Nope. Okay. Did you get any ones? Yep. Okay, so it didn't lock up on you, but you missed. I totally okay. buy that. And in fact, I think D distracted you. So you were picking your shot. Just, I want to get out, and that probably blew your shot. Okay. Uh, you don't want to miss your shot. Shot. Uh, yeah. eh. Stone sharks. So the one on uh, Eric is going to go to uh, far range. Sorry, Mike. Do I? Am I? Is because I'm a twelve. Is my initiative below the show stone sharks? It is. Got it. Great. They have a twenty. Uh, Your initiative is below the stone sharks. <laughs> I've never performed words in my life. <laughs> It's also a good book title, Below the Stone Shark. Below the Stone Shark. My Awakening. Five of you were very good. Jessica, <laughs> your your initiative was Below the Stone <laughs> Shark. A, a memoir. <laughs> a memoir. All right, so okay. know me. A memoir. Uh, I, it misses you. Goldwater. Ooh. Two sixes. That's a hit. And what's your defense again against uh, bashing? The first one? Uh, three. Okay, so that's three and then two crits. <laughs> okay, you take seven hits. Oh! Yeesh. Which is one injury. So go ahead and. It uh, sure is. <laughs> that injury. Oh, man. All right, hold on. Uh, six. <laughs> um, and I get to roll for an injury, huh? Yep. Okay. Uh, all right. D doesn't say anything else. And then Nomi, you're up. All right. So um, I'm a little overwhelmed. Is there is there a world where because of the eldritch eldritch blast, that it like I'm also imbued with like extra energy, like inspiration? Is there like something like that? I think that's like a fanfic that Nomi will later write in her head. <laughs> uh, in the battlefield, however, no. So there's no, yeah, I'm not, okay, great. No. Strangely, it makes you a better baker for two rounds, but that's not. <laughs> <laughs> she never understood, she never knew what baked goods were until today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you smell croissants. She accesses well, like a, a part of her. <laughs> she, she smells your good. eyes turn a color they've never turned before. Right. right. Oh. Uh, oh, hello. Okay, okay maybe point. that my eyes are the color of the Eldritch Blast. Like the. Oh, light I color. love it. Because um, of that, I'm totally willing to give you a plus one die this round. Oh, oh nice. fuck yeah! See, you yeah, don't get it if you don't ask. It's a yeah. baker's so, die. Have, having her eyes turn the color of Vod's blast is. I'm going to check my chart. It's fucking cool. That's very. I, that was. That's teammates. That's teamwork right there. I right, already we uh, go. That's fucking teamwork. You uh, teamwork. Them? More stabbing. Well, here's my question. Now, I've the whole. The whole point was to kick and like kick that one off the car, which the truck, which I think we did, kind it, of. It uh, weighs about a ton and a half. Oh, so that's not happening. Okay. No. Is there one that's further that a crossbow may if benefit you, from? So the one that's running, you could try to just take down. You could literally ignore the one on you. And be fuck you and shoot it. Because it's in the it's in the second category. How much sentience do these creatures have? Uh, primitive at best. So so they're not aware if I like kill their bud that like this is a, uh, a little. Think of it like remember I said they had to be mad to attack. So they get mad and they have I mean they have got weapons they made. So think of them like Neanderthals. Okay. Which I understand is the pronunciation, right? Despite my entire life, it was something. Neanderthal. Like, yeah. It's the tall. Yes. I'm gonna. I. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna stab the eyes of the closest rock lobster. Do it. Um, <laughs> and see what happens. Don't. Rock don't, lobster. Don't. Nine minutes later, you finally hit your opponent. Oh. <laughs> oh. The song is really long. I it's know, dude. I was just song. listening to it last night. Rock oh, lobster. Nice. Okay, so I roll. It's not. It's melee, right? Four. Yep. That's two sixes. So you hit. Do your damage. 
And my and against, saber, I get three dice. And it's against the three. No, I, I one rolled under the cat, so I'm gonna. That's a that's a reroll. One rolled under the cat. Two sixes. Whoosh! So that's two points for the two dice getting that number. Then two crits. Your crit is what two with the knife? Correct. That's gonna be six points so far. But and I get to roll those two again. Yeah, and you're only looking for crits here. Correct. Only sixes. One. And you can keep rolling. I know. So now you're at eight. <laughs> <laughs> You've gone. I'm fucking this kid up. Okay, two. <laughs> so you did as much as one of Eric's rifle shots with your stabber to its eye. So I'm going to say you literally take its eye out. Oh, yeah. Uh, Eat it. It's going to reduce dice from all of its actions because it can't see right. So right. no be just. So do you let out a cry or is it just cold as fuck when you do it? I think I'm a little. I, I, uh, I, it's not like she's not the best fighter. She's not. She's she's just a survivalist. So she's like ah, as she's like going for the eye. And, oh, look, I like your taste style. I love the idea that that much damage was from shank, shank, shank. Yeah, it's like ah, so she's just going for it, and the eye does just pop out because she knows that that's like the the way that these stone sharks exist. Like they have like weird, like survival features and like they're like they just like their joints pop out so and now i'm just chewing on the, the eyeball so that one looks like it's probably gonna run also okay great it looks like getting your eye scooped out is a nope um gold water you still have a fully functional uh star destroyer right in front of you hey. ah, this damn thing <laughs> <laughs> all right um Let's see. I mean, the shotgun is doing okay by me so far. Yeah, at some uh, point you've bound to roll a six. The law of big. Yeah, I mean, I. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll uh, just back up a scotch. Yep. Uh, and and take a shot. So I'm gonna say that Eric, you and Eric are literally back to back, because you both oh, cool. did the same thing, and in the bat, the So Eric, you're feeling when his shotgun kicks a little bit. So there's that like on stage kind of energy going on. Oh yeah. <laughs> so go ahead and open fire. Uh, all right. Uh, I got a success. Okay. Success. Normal <laughs> damage. And now the hard part. Oh well. <laughs> pretty good. Uh, I got four and two sixes. Okay. So against and this. D does B damage, right? What's your damage type for the shotgun? Uh, yeah, it says B. It's not a gun because a shotgun, they're kind of not great on penetration. <laughs> uh, like Ben Shapiro. And uh, so it's got a five point uh, armor against that. Oh. But that means Okay, well, I got two successes, but they're both sixes. So that's which adds. Points. What's the crit damage for you? One, so it's two more, so it's four. Four, but you can re-roll your sixes. Yeah, I'm gonna explode those sixes. I got a five and a six. Another uh, six. See, that's another six, so I get an. Oh, I don't get another crit, right? Yeah, you do one more point because that's your crit value, and you re-roll that six again. All right. Nope. Okay, but that's <laughs> fine. Uh, okay, so you unload in its face, and you do some damage. Then we go around. You unload it. Some, some damage. Some damage. <laughs> some damage. <laughs> The entire time that the round has had been going on since then, I have been training my sniper scope on the one that ran away. From yeah, me. and that's like <laughs> four seconds. You know, this oh. is all pretty fast. Although I don't keep it. This is meant to be more narrative style. So unlike D and D, where it's a strict six seconds around, this is more like we cut to other things happening. We cut back to you, and you're already tracking your shot. And yeah, and I am like smiling like ear to ear. I'm so happy that it decided to run away from me because it made it easier for me to kill it. I'm but, so happy that Goldwater is leaning up against me and I could feel the vibration of the of the shotgun. You're literally I'm so your happy that she's chewing on an eyeball. This is like the best moment I've had in this is like everybody's, everybody's talking, everybody's been talking about their feelings, and finally I have one. And my feeling is I'm gonna pull this motherfucker to bits. So I have to train the sniper <laughs> scope on the shark's head and Sweet. baby 
I'm about to roll some shit up. Oh, yeah, I had four successes. Okay, if this is not a bunch of damage, I'm going to be very mad at your dice. Me too. <laughs> you deserve it at this point. Oh, it's a bunch of damage. Hey. That, that would be three sixes. Woo! Oh, you, you, you missed it, him. And oh, one more six. He used the word Karen just to make sure audience realizes Karen's the name of his rifle. Yes. Yes. Uh, so that was another six. Oh, jeez. And that was it. So, so okay. So I had three sixes, which got the my crits three. So that's nine plus three is twelve plus three again is fifteen. You blow its head off, motherfucker. In fact, that's such a good shot. There. Oh man. Oh. You literally blew away the negative karma. That's how good your shot was. Uh, all right, Navad. Yeah. One's dead. Nobody's wounded one, and it looks like it's going to run. Uh, the one that's still trouble is the one on Goldwater. Um, and, like, is, is my line of sight good on that? Can I tell? It's not. You would have it's to not. Out, it seems to bad. Get out, the, get out of the truck. Yeah. Um, but I can tell that the one is going to run. Mm -hmm. um, you could just but, shoot it anyway and kill it. Well, I don't, I don't have a, I don't have a gun. I have a stabber. I think I'm so sort of from, as a continuation of the last round, I'm going to kind of open the door of the truck and just come at it with my knife. Okay. Um, Cause I don't want to do any more. Give me a willpower save. Okay. Oh, not a, not a problem, but I'll make sure that I get it. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Otherwise I was going to say, you start to get out of the truck, see the thing, get back in the truck. Because you're 17 and that thing's a fucking wall, uh, but you have you have such good willpower, you can reimagine the world and redefine it to your whim. In, so, I'm imagining it much smaller than it is. Nice. You yeah. are magicians and nuked are severely clinically self deluded. Uh, so go ahead and attack the thing. Uh, I'm gonna attack. Uh, oh, what the hell? That's uh, my brawl melee. Correct. It is. And I missed it though. <laughs> ah, stab, stab. Ah! I was so inspired by watching Nomi do her thing. Like the tide is so tough. Yeah. Uh, B, How you could do? you see me? Well, I just I could tell that you the eye blew up well, off of the thing. Well, he helped you, so he would have leaned out the window to be helping. Fair, 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 fair. B. Uh, I I'm gonna shoot again. I'd I'd like to get out, please. Absolutely not. We don't know what you. Do. I don't know how you work. I, I want to help kill the monsters. What can you do to help kill a monster? I'd like to kick them, please. <laughs> go, go, go. Let this happen. Let this happen. Are you kidding me? I look at Navad and I go, "What do I do?" I mean, I'm. I probably didn't hear that. No, that was you. You look, by the way. And that's probably the first point that B recognizes he's left the car. Oh my god! He does not get an action this round. Um, so, and I've, I've just, I just as a heads up, I've left the door open behind me. Um, so D. Well, he she looks and sees that, but looks back to B. But okay. It's clear she's asking for permission. Okay. Go. She gets out of the car, and she assumes a martial arts pose. And she attacks the one attacking Goldwater. Yeah, help me. She hits it with a roundhouse kick. Oh, Whoa. my God. And she does some damage. <laughs> she blows it up. No. My no but the, a the attack definitely lands, though. Oh. Uh, and please. she seems she's quiet and efficient and cool. Uh, oh, all right. No, me. You're up. Oh, no, I'm not. Sorry, the one that ran. The one on Nomi has run. So it is now at uh, far range. That's that's why I missed, because he was running and I swung my knife and it just... That does yeah. mean I'm going to turn around and the big thing is going to attack Navad. Oh. <laughs> Fortunately, it missed. Oh, okay, good. Oh, so man, I'm an idiot. Can I jump on the thing and stab that eye out? You... 
or you can absolutely attack the one on Goldwater. On Goldwater the, or on yeah, the, the one. That, no, the one that that you stabbed is gone. It ran away. I know, yeah. but where's the one? You said one was attacking Navad, but missed. Is that right? Yes, that's the same the one that w the one that yeah. you oh, took its I eye know. out was going to run away and then turn back to take a swipe at me. No, the oh, one no. that was going to get the eye. The last one left. Ran away. The last one left. I got you. I got you. I was confused as to which one it was. <clears throat> okay, totally. Uh, so Nomi, there's only one left. It's the one that Navad's attacking, uh, and you can totally attack it. Yeah, I definitely want to jump on top of it. I want to like hold it its snout. As though like I'm like riding like you know riding it like a you know like like a bull that you're gonna so tame. That's, that's a two stage attack. So the first thing we need is an acrobatics check. Okay, I'm just trying to be cool now. I do you it. Know, you know, I, I prefer the players are uninteresting, but you go ahead. Okay, you're okay. you're a guest. <laughs> <laughs> you go ahead and be interesting. You know what makes this interesting is that I can only roll two dice right now. Oh God. Oh, her oh I forgot to add the extra dice prior. Can well, I add it to this one? It's not for the same thing. It's not against the same creature. Right. So okay. Don't make your roll. Remember, you've got good karma. So you've well, got, I got a, a I got a partial success. I got one partial success. So you're on it. It's a little awkward, but it's enough to stab it. Okay, great. So stabby, stabby. Go ahead and make your stabby with an extra die. So oh, anyone okay. that can see this, certainly Navad, sees her literally leap onto this thing and start shanking. One success. Nice. So you can do your damage? I will do nice. my damage. Uh, one five. Okay, so that's No one. eye gouging this time. But. And at that point, because you got the partial success, you fall off. Okay. Um, uh oh. So uh oh, someone better save fall. me. So at this so you point... Got a, a got a quick stab in and then slide off of it all in kind of one awkward motion. It looks like it's taking enough damage and the other two are gone that it's going to flee as well. So we will wrap nice. back around to uh, Goldwater. Goldwater and Eric, you may both take shots now. I fall um, down in the bed of the truck and grab my wounds and try to stop the bleeding. That is totally fair. Now remember, until you're wounded, you're not actually wounded. The injury is like mild and you're- Well, I work on that. I don't yeah. like it. But- you know, I only have six hit points left, so. And again, and partially this is a little bit for the listeners. Until your negative hit points, you're not really fucked up. Okay. Because that's when things get dangerous. Well, <laughs> sounds I- like, Sounds like- I still hit the deck. Player. Oh, totally. Uh, you're also a ranged fighter. So actually taking a hit like that is like, what the hell? Uh, yeah, it sucks. Eric- uh, I'm going to go ahead and narratively say that you are going to be able to end him. So please describe how. So with a great big smile, after I have finished the last shot that I took, for the first time ever, everybody in this uh, party hears Eric make a monkey noise. <laughs> nice. And he just goes, hoo, 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 ha, ha, and spins Karen around and racks her at the same time. And with one hand, the other one looking pretty, oh, so pretty behind his head. <laughs> he, he doesn't even, he turns over to, he turns over to know me who doesn't know him even a little bit and goes, and then shoots without looking. <laughs> nice. And it falls dead into the sandstorm. Amazing. Combat, I love is, it. combat is over. Word to the affiliates. This is likely to be the full three and a half hours because of the content we need to cover this episode. We are also a half an hour late. That's going to put our mid break in about a half an hour. Will everyone's uh, bladder and brains allow for another half an hour? I have to go pee. I'll be right back. Let's take a like a three minute bio. The actual break will be in a half an hour. Great. Okay. Oh, okay. Get by the discount. And we're back. Um, so this is immediately following the battle. Is there an immediate response to anything that happened? Um, they shouldn't have attacked us. It was probably not that smart of an idea. We should. No, uh... no. They, 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 we didn't give them any reason to attack. 
D gets oh. into the car and sits down. Oh my God, what was that? That was amazing! What? What, what you did out there! That was incredible! Oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I encourage B to fix the car as soon as possible. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Naomi. Thank you for keeping me on track. That's right. Uh, yeah. What time of day is this right now? Uh, it's night. Oh, so um, I encourage Goldwater yet again to hold a <laughs> oil lantern for her, despite their that. their burgeoning personal problems. And I asked <laughs> Navad if him and I can uh, converse quietly, uh, like a like a stone's throw away from the track. Okay. So uh, as that happens, uh, as we transition to that, uh, D hugs B with a big smile. I'm so glad you're fine. Hey, girl, this is so cool. <laughs> Are you gonna fix the the car? She checks yeah. it. Truck. I'm gonna, gonna fix, fix the, the truck. I'm gonna fix Sally up real good. I promise. She checks her uh, her book. Okay. Well. Better that dick. Who told you that? Where did you hear that? One of the guys that trained me. Wait, what are you looking at? I grabbed the notebook out of her hand. I see all so, the words. First time you've seen it, she's angry. Oh, uh, like when you do that? Like fire? Like instantaneously. Like flipping a switch. Are you writing down all of the swear words? I'd, I'd like that back, please. What else is in here? I'd like that back, please. I could uh, maybe give it back. Of course I'm going to give it back, but you got to tear out the swear word page. That is my memories, and I will remove nothing. <sighs> Fine. I give it back. She smiles again. I wouldn't take your book. And she puts no, it No, I know. That was really rude. I'm, I'm sorry. That's... I, Nomi says you should fix the truck. I'm going to fix the truck. I just don't need you writing down my swear words. Listen to my girlfriend. She said fix the truck. You don't have a girlfriend as I, I go. I do so. Oh, is this a fight? <laughs> I go fix the truck. <laughs> she is my sister. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, you get out and you go ahead and you're going to get one die up for help. One die off because it's dark and hard to do this in a sand. So go okay. ahead and make your uh, make your bodge. I got two twos and two fours. Uh, what did you say? I got two twos and two fours. Yeah, and who were the two people that wanted to talk? It was Eric uh, and someone. No, Nomi pulled Nevada aside for a sec. Can you give them a two up call? Listen, you're young. Yeah. Know what you did out there. That showed some true maturity. I, I, listen, I'm not going <laughs> to I'm not going to mince words with you. I'm I'm turned on. Uh Do I hear this? No. I think I think we purposely like stepped aside. I wouldn't be ashamed if you heard this, but we we I don't aside. want my sister to hear it. I need to know if I need to clap my hands over Let's her head. Say this is entirely separate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. Do you know how to handle yourself when someone says that to you? I mean, I guess this, this I is an think, opportunity. Are you so. are you clocking it? Yeah. Yeah. No. I I get it. I get it. Okay. So what would you do about it? I mean. There's no cover out here, though. Eh, eh, it's dark. It took her a while to work on the truck the last time. Maybe we could go a little bit further over that way. Listen, if you're scared, then maybe I misjudged you. I I'm not scared. I'm not scared at all. <laughs> Have you ever done this before? <laughs> Are you? Uh... Actually, don't answer that. I don't want to know. Okay. 
Okay. And I think we could cut away from that. Yeah. We, in fact, we in fact can. Okay. But uh, well, the car won't take long to get repaired. Okay. Uh, and I don't think anything else will take that long anyway. Nevada's 17, <laughs> man. I don't think he's going to take a car length to get ready. <laughs> Is that a metaphor already? <laughs> Here's the problem, though. Nevada might be an experience in 17, but I remember having been a 17-year-old young man. There are certain superpowers that come with that. And in addition, he's got freakishly high willpower. That's true. And there's also things they say about tall skinny guys. So... As far as I'm concerned, when the group yes. comes looking, it's clear the van is rocking. Okay. The desert rocks. So, <laughs> D is still in the car, so D would not be affected by this. I assume you're probably talking to B. So, that would mean Goldwater and Eric. You become aware that there is a personal sort of commotion going on about a hundred yards to north by northwest well, west, over there. Do is it or ignore it? Is it the direction that they went off into or oh, are we yes. talking about it? Yes, yes, yes. No, I'm I'm trying to be artfully tactical about the fucking. Oh, hey. I see. I see. <laughs> uh, I just I just turn to Goldwater and just go <laughs> 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 Why are you laughing? Um, are you serious? They're engaging in intercourse. I don't understand why that's humorous. It seems because the kid accidentally bursts into flames when he gets nervous sometimes. Oh, and part shit. of me, oh, <laughs> part shit. of me wonders how nervous he is right about now. Oh, that's totally got to happen. Um, mm, you bring up a very good point. <laughs> Although I'm not sure if that matters to Domi. It doesn't. She is not so unfamiliar with the situation as to not know that that's potential. I'm sure she yeah. So suddenly there's like the burning bush in the... <laughs> oh yeah, and this head would eliminate this scene. Uh, so the only thing that I'm interested in, because everything else is very tawdry, uh, what color are Nomi's eyes? Ooh. Oh... I think that they are flickering different colors. Oh, you get the chromatic? Uh-huh. There's something Total. going on. Yeah. I'm okay. assuming the crescendo comes with the ghost rider illuminating the scene in an almost pornographic way for everybody within 300 yards. Oh, that might be dangerous. D turns to B. Oh, I should be over with them. Oh, no. <laughs> She starts, I noticed, she starts I noticed, taking her jumpsuit off. I immediately just like push her jumpsuit on her and hug her. And I'm like, oh my God, we have so much catching up to do. You can hang out with them any old time. So B has figured out the dangling keys in the infant solution. Because uh, she's totally distractible. That, that takes her out of it completely. Uh, all right, so... That all ends, and everyone perhaps awkwardly regroups. The car has been fixed. <clears throat> Are you ready to do some uh, driving? Vod, you may have two extra hit points for the balance of the session. Two extras. I'm going to call those confidence points. Okay. Sweet. Ah! So he comes uh, back looking. What do you look like? Um, like you know, he's uh because he's got such long legs, uh, his steps always seem a little um uh, leggy, but they're extra leggy. They're there's like a swaggery kind like, of like fabulous freak brothers. The, the, the yeah the yeah long. like <laughs> he's like lean and weight like yeah keep on trucking. <laughs> Is anyone discuss any of that, or does someone just say drive and you move? Well, I, mean, I think just, Eric had a pretty good pun there. Or, well, and I'm not ashamed of a thing. Oh, no, no. I was more talking about, like, the rest of them, because there's a very, there's an assemblage of various um, dysfunction. That, you know, I couldn't think of another way to put it. 
uh, among the maybe the rest of the group. Sure, sure, sure. sure. Um, yeah, I think you know, uh, he's a little like kind of like smirk, uh, like when uh, Leia kisses Han or kisses uh, Luke oh. in front of Han, uh, you know, kind of a thing of like, oh, yeah, well, you know, check me out. Little so when competition. you start the car, it starts right up. Oh, of course. Sense the change in your confidence. Yeah, sure. And off you go in the dark. Okay. Uh, you do have your headlights, but there is a sad storm. Um, I need. Who's got the highest notice, please? I have, a I have six. six. Yeah. Eric's okay. Good. So one of you roll. One of you roll with one extra die. Anytime you're doing something together, you add a die. Oh yeah, I'm successful. Okay, so the it looks group... like a couple people added a die a little while ago. Hey oh, hello. That's my only joke about this shit. I've been very, very nice. It's really good. <laughs> it, don't know, <laughs> knowing you, Mister Tribe, you are you are a saint. Uh, <laughs> so the group notices uh, much of you about the same time. Up ahead, there are dead stone sharks. I mean, there's no road, but you're following a path. And it mm. looks like they were gunned <laughs> down. <clears throat> you slow down. Does Nomi investigate? How, how far away from them? Uh, you're coming up because it's along the path you're taking. So, you know, it, there's a sandstorm, so the visibility isn't high. 500 feet. I think he's um, moving. The car is not going to do well if we keep stopping. We maybe we kind of slow it to a crawl to kind of like you know drive by to slow you know, a little and then veer just a bit to go close to one. Yeah, so you can kind of like you guys can get the people get in the, get get some looks at what's going on. It sets you up for a very cool CGI tracking shot where you it comes into view. I'm thinking there's a couple of shots in Jurassic Park that look like that where you see the thing briefly. Uh, and I won't make you make the rolls because it'll slow down the game, but some of you that are good at things like uh, uh, Beast Mastery and Medicine uh, can take a look and go, oh, that looks like guns, probably rifles and submachine guns. So as far well, as you can tell, I... they were coming through the area and the people you're chasing <laughs> gun these things down. This is probably what agitated water, right? the others and why they attacked us. Makes sense. Exactly. They thought we um, were with them. I mean, this looks like a lot of guns. This doesn't just look like one or two guys with a gun. This looks like a bunch of guns. So the We knew that when we started. Yeah, because the description Grace had for you was like truck with people bristling, kind of like you are now, when they had music blaring and they came in like, again, think Mad Max Raider attack. Uh, so yeah, yeah, Goldwater's right. You kind of knew that. Um, I, I turned to Nomi and go, uh, can you track it from the gunshots? Dark. Well, oh, at this point, you're past them already because you only slowed. So you then veer back left to get back to where the tracks kind of inter intermittently are. Mm -hmm. And by that point, they're behind you and out of sight. Oh, so what do you, do you need me to see anything now at this point? No. Well, you can't even see him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, listen, we know that we're heading into something very dangerous here. And we all just survived three kind of dumb animals together. That w bodes well for us in what we're going through into. But I wouldn't blame any of you, any of you, if you didn't feel confident going into this melee. I'm fine. I'm as confident as I usually am. I rat Karen. <laughs> Her voice speaks for you. Nice. If we die, or if any of us die, know that this was among some of my more okay jobs. <laughs> <laughs> In the in like the second third, <laughs> it's, it's like 
could but have not worked. quite at the, at the bottom of the second third. It's just like <laughs> I like this month. Ram, I ran my elbow into Navad and I go, you made it as good for her as it was for you. Good boy. <laughs> he D leans in. My turn next, right? No, we, I th- I'm, I'm, I'm not giving you as much intelligence credit as you deserve. You're not our girlfriend. You, oh. We're not going to be having sex with you, but I think okay. that you will provide some excellent combat for us. Really? Okay. Yeah. Grace said I wasn't any good at it. Uh, we're not quite sure what Grace esteems you to be. I think based off of what I can tell, you're going to be wonderful. They for gave up on me or there wouldn't have been a C. Eh, you know, you know, have you ever heard of like donor parts? You know, like like why we scavenged parts of the the motorcycle or we, we look out over dead bodies to see if they have things. Sometimes Wow, she rolled a six. So you're saying I had good things, but not all the things? And in case some of your things didn't work. They could take them from C or E or, you know what I mean? Oh, they should have said. I would have given them whatever they needed. Well, no, it was for you, maybe. Let's just put it this oh. way. Yeah. Oh. You don't know? It's a shame you're not my girlfriend anymore. It was a good breakup, though. I'm not hurt. Okay. And on you drive. Uh, All right. So I'm going to need a landlord check from Nomi at this point because you're in a legit storm. You can roll with an additional die because you get the help of the people in the truck with you. That's in the lower left of your survival. Yep. Hi, Sylvester. Did mommy roll a six? She did. (laughs) Can you train the cat to, to say success or failure? Yeah, he, 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 it was right by his ear, so he went. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So, so yeah, one a, six. So Buster says yes? Okay. Yes. Um, all right, so you travel another hour or two. So this is like on towards midnight. It's been a while. Now, on the other hand, you know that they were ahead by maybe half a day. So Nomi had sort of read the site where they stopped. You're not sure you're catching up. You might have to wait for them to literally stop, but you don't want to be too far behind them or you lose them entirely. So you have no idea when you're actually going to catch up. And about when you're explaining that to them, uh, you come to a place that looks, at least at first first blush, where the stone sharks and believers fought. There is mm. evidence of a large battle. Mm. How fresh does everything look? Are they like smoking piles or? You definitely have to get out and look. Okay. Um, I, I would encourage us to, to take a quick stop to check. Okay. I'm going to hit the side of the car. <laughs> the okay, I'll pull over? Yeah, I'll pull over. Okay. So you see two dead stone sharks. Evidence there were as many as a dozen, Nomi. The truck's been abandoned. Uh, at first blush, it looks like it's no longer working as well. You have to, so you walk up to it and like check it out. Yeah. When I was like, remember, you're looking through like the veil of the storm. Right, 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 right. Question: Am I able to glean that <clears throat> all of their vehicles either look similar or different, and so they would know that this was their mm-hmm. vehicle? The tracks, you have enough partial tracks to know that this is the right truck. This is not like something else. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're gonna have but to like if we down. were to restore it and drive this as well. Uh, you need to go up there and you probably have to be look at it because you're going to need to look at the engine. Okay, great. Yeah, no, okay. So wh- all I, I want to know is like how recent this... Okay, so you're going to check out the site because, yeah, yeah. for example, you don't know as far as you know it's here because they're all dead. Like you're seeing big dead things in a truck sitting there. Yeah. So you start looking for like bodies and then you check out. Do you tell B to check out the truck? Uh, I think for parts. Right. Or even to see if it's can run. Yeah. What, what's going on with it, okay. but also not to be, to be uncautious because you don't know. 
Eric and Goldwater, are you on high guard with your weapons as much as you can be? Yep. Yep. But Naval, Nomi's checking out the site. B's checking out the truck. Uh, what do you do? Who are you talking to? Me? I'm talking to Navad. Oh, to Navad? Yeah. Um, so again, uh, Eric and Water <clears throat> have their guns out and they're keeping watch. Uh, B is checking out the truck. Nomi is literally, she's doing like the kind of native guide thing. She's checking everything out, trying to see how long ago this was. So she's checking the whole site. What are you doing? Um, so I'm, I mean, I'm, I think I'm sitting in the truck. Uh, behind the wheel in case we need to take off or or okay. you know so you're, you're get safe. going soon cool <laughs> in case you need to be in a escape yeah room. um is 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 d is d still in the cab with me yes or is she over with b you want to okay. keep the engine running are you that concerned because that's not um that's cautious you have enough gas yeah or, i mean i think i think no, I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna think I'm gonna leave it running. Much my inclination is to uh, is to leave it idling. You know, I've park or I've got you know I've got the parking brake on or whatever. But uh, but it's still on, just because we've had it die on us before. I feel like you know anytime we turn it off, we take a risk of it not starting back up. Can I have B and one, uh, or just B and I, Colt? If we are totally willing to wait for you, friend, it's fine. Uh, okay, so B, uh, you take a walk around the thing first. Mm -hmm. It looks okay. There are a couple of marks in it, like are on your truck, like these things hit with those big hammer weapons. So there's big okay. dents in the thing, like we're in yours, but they, like with yours, didn't hit the front. So like, you don't think that's what stopped it. Okay. Uh, walking around the thing, there's stuff in the back. Do you take a look? Mm -hmm. Okay, you'd have to climb up in to go look. Okay. Okay, so you see there's a submachine gun that's been abandoned. Next to it is an ammo box. There's also a cooler. Uh, there is a big cage, and the cage, the door has been left open. So the cage is like a big dog cage. Uh, and there's also a large, full uh, body bag. Uh, does the body bag look like it ha it's full? Or like, can I it see does. if it's open? It does. Make a sense check for me. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Uh, one six. Something in the bag is calling to you. Okay. It feels like singing. Um. Okay. Uh. Do I do I get the feeling that I, I should open it now, or should I grab it and go back to the truck? Uh, you would probably, if you're responding on an instinctual level, it would be drawing you to the curious, like what's in here, not like move it somewhere else. And Okay, I'm gonna open it now. Okay, uh, you unzip, you, you literally feel like you hear like choral singing, it, it kind of almost sub-audible, like really distant. Okay. An arm falls out and there's some feathers. And when you, go down in the zipper, you realize that the top where you pull was hooked to something. And when you zip a little bit further, you see the bomb. And there is a light and there is a number and it is about to go off. Do you want to uh, stop it? Um, can anybody hear me where I am? They can, but they won't have a lot of time. That's fine. I'm just going to scream, guys, there's a bomb. And I'm going to, I'm going to use hacking. Okay. So stop there. I'm going to go around and I'm going to ask you towards or away. So you hear there's a bomb. I need to know if you're going towards the bomb or if you're running away. So Eric. 
Toward. Definitely toward. Goldwater. Same. I mean, yeah. uh, So I'm in the car. Uh, towards or away in the car? Pardon? Towards or away in the car or do you get out of the car? Um, I, I think I'm actually going to spin it out away. Away? No, me towards or away. Away. Okay. Did you hear me? Um, away. Yeah. So B. Uh, back on B, please. You realize that you're looking at an angel. This is the angel that Limbo had captured and that we're using, and it, in a strange way, is your father. If everything that Grace told you is true, half of the genetic material came from the thing in this body bag. And you feel what they were talking about, that glamour, like you feel almost love for it, but realize that because of who you are, you don't need to let that influence your actions, right? But right. you're aware in that moment that somebody that wasn't you would just stare at the majesty of the thing and would be, you know, a mortal would be unable to act. So you can see just in even that brief second why they bothered to do this project. So Danielle, very important hacking role. Test, please. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is it a partial? Not at all. So I need a reflex save from Eric and Goldwater. This is almost nope, nope, nope. Karma, 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 karma on that last what roll. Do, what do I do? What Good do I do? call, dude. All the karma karma is going to give her in this case because of exactly what's going on. You have the time for an outline. An outline, literally a line to go out on. So. B sees the timer clicking over. And what would have been a boom because of the karma gives you enough time to do the like, well, I should have checked the gas or like you, or, you know, uh, Eric, I always loved you. Like you can have an outline. <laughs> Barrett bought you an outline. <laughs> I just screen keeper safe boys. And then I apply the negative karma to the damage. Oh my God. There is a massive explosion. Uh, I'm still going to need that reflex save from Eric and Goldwater. And this yeah. is very oh similar to a fireball save in DMD. Where oh is it? Reflex That's save. reaction. A reaction. I'm sorry. Lower left, gray bar. I see it. I need to roll successes? No. Okay. Oh my God. No. Okay. Unsuccessful. You both take 10 points of damage, which is two injuries. Roll both one and then the other, because if they, you roll the thing twice, it'll do a wound. You want to go first, or you want me to go first? Uh, I already did. I rolled two ones, so. <laughs> OK, so you've got one injury and one wound. So mark your first wound. Yeah. I rolled different. I got a four and a three. Okay, so you're injured but not wounded. Both of you are blown back and stunned around. Uh, I... Give us uh, Colt. We're going to take a um, two-minute break. Put us back in the intermission loop. Oh, okay.
All right, we are back. So first thing, <laughs> you will notice that Danielle is now playing D. Um, I am the very first thing we need to do is I'm going to need a toughness check uh, from Goldwater. So when you get a wound, you have to make a toughness check. You look at that little graph. The one on the far left means you can succeed even on partial success. So all you got to do is get a partial success and you're fine. Yeah, more than that. Okay, so you're fine. <laughs> like as and uh, the problem is when you're wounded, like you when you're in negative hit points, it's more dangerous. You can actually die. Yeah. So one of the reasons you track and it's more worrisome when you're negative is you're at more risk. But you right. made your toughness save, so you're okay. Um, and you don't even lose consciousness. You're okay. All right. Bay. So the two of you, however, do lose a round. You're stunned. You literally were blown back like 10 feet. Uh, you probably have a little fire on you. Uh, Navad, Nomi, what do you do? Um, well, I mean, I was driving, trying to drive the truck away. And you are. But so I think... In the rear view mirror like a Michael Bay film. Yeah, so like, I mean, the it explodes. I feel like I'm not going to drive off without people because I, I see yeah. that Goldwater. And I'm in the car, right? D, D is in the car next to Navad. Nomi is on the, in the site checking out. That's right. To figure out what happened here. Right. And you were running away as well. Yeah. I'm going to, so I'm going to slam on the brakes as soon as I kind of feel like the explosion is over. Okay. Um, Cause I know that that's, I knew that that's where B was, right? Yes. Yeah, you know, vaguely. You know, uh, Goldwater in things that are kind of combat situations takes a semi leadership role. So that little list that I ran down for efficiency's sake was probably Goldwater. Like we're on Overwatch and you're checking the site, and B, you're the right. mechanic, check the car. That voice usually is Goldwater's voice. Yeah. So I'm going to slam on the brakes and yeah. get out of the car and start yeah. running towards where the explosion happened. So Nomi, D, and Navad, you see Eric and Goldwater shaking off the stun and cutting off the flames. And you're both a little fucked up. I didn't think she was that dumb. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um... I I jump up. I walk and, away. I walk. I jump I, up and grab away. Nomi by the jacket and throw her to the ground and and say, "That was my friend. She was my friend. She's I'm your dead say, friend. That was I'm, dumb. Just call it like I see it. Doesn't mean I'm not sad about it. It just was dumb. She could have gotten all of us killed." She saved you. Did she? I, I mean, I don't know. So does anyone who's still alive have tech bodge skills? Have what? Say that again. Tech bodge, you don't. Tech bodge skills. So gotcha. Eric, that explosion was not like a gas tank explosion. That was a bomb. And I know that. Yeah. Yeah, you've been around like, you know, play Fallout, shoot at a car, it blows up. Mm -hmm. You've been around a few like wrecks that do the car, you know, blow up thing. No, no, that was, uh, that was a purposeful, that was a trap. Here we were coming. Or they knew somebody was coming. That was a bomb. That wasn't just some random shit. That was a bomb. And they were calling out to her. Mike, as D, can I feel the same like resonance? from any of the debris there's from nothing, there's nothing left okay whatever the bomb was and this unfortunately the party doesn't really know this but to explain it to danielle to know how to react to it that bomb in part was meant to destroy the remains so there is not the, destroy the, what? The, the remains there's not even one feather left. the remains got it the angel body is gone it just 
it, and this it, is going to sound uh, this is going to sound like a really crass question but hopefully you'll know where i'm going with this are there any remains of b left roll a six-sided die high is good low is bad just there six just there uh yes her right leg but not her Ooh. not her cuff or her drum Okay. Oh wait, not her cuff or her drone. Nope. So Jeepers is gone too. Yes. Oh. Um. Yeah, I know how many hit points Jeepers had and how big that fireball was. It wasn't directed to be like far enough away for that to survive. All right. So I'm just gonna get up and walk over by myself and grab her leg. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna. You remember when I had the. Uh, a few episodes ago when we had the metal staves. Yeah. So I'm going to crisscross it with Karen in the back. There's something rolled up in her sock. Uh, I pull it out. It's another cartridge for your musicer. She apparently found <laughs> another song for you and hadn't given it to you yet. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my uh, God. And what is that song, Mike? It's a... Uh, Wait, it's no, I know what it was. It was That's... I'll Write a Song for You by Earth, Wind, and Fire. Oh, my God. That's horrible. <laughs> I, I, I think that's what it has to be, yeah. Uh, all right, I, I pop it in the music and sit down and start crying. Okay, so now he's sitting, listening to music with a leg and a gun across his back. Whoa. Nobody, you continue your, I mean, you strike me as like very kind of business-like. Like, do you continue to search the site? Uh, uh, no, because I don't think it makes sense. Because if anything, if they knew that we were going to be, if, if someone was going to come here and, and search the ramble, that that there's not, they, they didn't leave anything for us to find. So, Eric, uh, I'm going to let you spend, if you want, the good karma to give you an insight into what happened. Yeah. Yeah, I want to do that. So, it is possible that that explosion was to destroy something, in which case it may not have been a trap for you. It may have been a trap to protect what they destroyed. Okay, and do I get the sense that it was the angel's body or is it something else? I think that that's not a, I think that's a leap you could take because you knew that they had taken it from Limbo and you knew that it was in the truck because Grace told you. So I'm able to, to piece together that they didn't want to be able to create any more clones. Well, the, the motivation, you don't know, but okay. they, they clearly didn't want anybody fucking with the body of the holy thing. Okay. And apparently be set off you know, somebody already said that it called to her. That's quite possible. So you can make that jump as well, which means it called to her. She accidentally set off an explosive device, tried to disarm it, failed, and there was a big explosion. Okay. Um, so I, I kind of stand up, take the take the earbuds out. I know what happened, or I know why it happened. They weren't trying to kill us. They were trying to, to blow that thing up. That fucking thing. They were trying to destroy it and not us. But it doesn't matter. Well, why not just destroy it when they, when they had the chance? I mean, they wanted it's like two birds, one stone, it seems like. So Nomi, who I think is in the larger sense, the most big scale worldwide uh, knows from Scuttlebutt that the believers will take things that they believe to be holy relics to one of the cathedrals. So it's quite possible. That might also be where they're going eventually with K. You know, if they, these people that are super devoted to this cause find this dead body, their first thought wouldn't be destroy it. It would be get it to a temple. 
So you would know that. So it's, we don't know what it is that they blew up, but. Well, you, you know, you know what it was. Grace told you, and you guys also found the big rack it was on with feathers on it. Remember? Yeah, oh, got it. Crucifix. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. They, 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 and also. Uh, I Dean. talked about it. Yeah, Dean, Dean as a character talked about it. Oh, got it. Okay. Hold on. So my question then is, does that mean, are we piecing together that this is not the believers then? If, if they no. were. That it was the believers. All you really piece together is it probably wasn't a directed attack against you. Right. Okay. But why would they want to destroy the the angel? To keep other people from getting it. Even they, though they didn't, they didn't want to bring it to the cathedral. They did, but if somebody beat them or stopped them, they didn't want them taking it as loot. Got it. Okay. Uh, like they I wanted to take it where they wanted it, but you can't have it partially because they saw all those clones. They may not have understood what they were, but they may have gone, well, there's a bunch of clones and there's an angel on that cross. This is fucked. Let's go back to command with this. So then probably set up a device to make sure if they didn't get there. Got it. Yeah. Does that mean we can right. assume that they lost here or lost a significant amount of people here? So Nomi would know uh, there are no bodies except for the two stone creatures which means that enough of them survived to pull the bodies out because very unlikely uh like you can even find blood on the clubs of the things so people did die here but there's no corpses which means the corpses were removed by someone also one there's a, a car and a motorcycle unaccounted for hmm. and no sign of cake I don't, um, I don't know about you all, but to me, this is no longer about finding anybody. This is about killing everybody. It was never not about that, but good to know. A uh, Goldwater, yeah, I, you see the mangled cage, uh, and it is probably to your eye where they had K. So she was probably in the back of the truck in that cage. This is where they would have kept a high-profile prisoner. And the, it's pretty obvious there's no remains or anything in the cage. So she's probably still with them. Yeah. Why? We can catch up to them if we press on doesn't make any sense why take the <coughs> corpses of their dead but leave the angel behind it something's not right i wouldn't try to maybe they put too much logic into <laughs> their actions so Nancy, give me a uh landlord which is basically a tracking role who no me no me okay i think well, my cat is best. sitting on it. <laughs> I that's it. sitting on your landlord. Cat carbon. That's Helping. A... Is he? Um, I, well, how many? It's seven, right? Is my if I remember correctly. Sounds like it, yeah. If not, it's close enough for cat. He says that I get one partial success. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> you. It looks to you like they lost. So the answer might be they had to run away. So the group that they fought, you fought some of these. And it looks like they fought 12 of them. And only two are lying here dead, which means there were 10 surviving stone sharks fighting them. So it looks to you like they picked up whatever dead they had and got the fuck out. And apparently they couldn't take the truck. Now that suggests the truck was not operable and it died kind of like yours did. Again, it's kind of an echo of what you just lived through. They yeah. did the same thing, but didn't do as well. Okay. And I relay that. And I, are we able to assess how many people were about to fight if we catch up with them? Not after the explosion. Okay. Got it. Cool. Then I suggest that we press on. Are there any weapons to be had? Not after the explosion. There was actually some stuff in the in the uh, in the car. It's gone. 
All right. Yeah, there's a bit of a crater, and there's probably this weird little thought at the back of Nomi's head that just in about two weeks, enough weather will have happened that this whole thing will be erased. So right now there's a crater and there's bodies and there's, but yeah, in two weeks, like living in desolation means the desolation is kind of eternal and it asserts itself over and over again and just erases things like this. Yeah, wait. As we start driving, as we start driving, I ask Eric, wait, is B coming back? I just shake my head. Is she with the sisters now? It's okay. Storm, the, uh, the truck heads off. Uh, your truck. Off you go. It's rough for a bit, uh, but the storm begins to let up. So now you're really only dealing with a little bit of flying dust uh, in the dark, but you have headlights. And again, it's not covered over. It's covered over about half of the tracks. So it's a little tough going. Nomi is easily good enough, seven dice for God's sake, to get you where you're going. Uh, after another 45 minutes, uh, you find an abandoned motorcycle. Do we even Kinda stop? I, I think we do not stop. I think I, I my advice is do not stop. It's another. <laughs> yeah, no, no looking at anything anymore. <laughs> We're never looking at anything ever again. <laughs> <laughs> so the group, like this the whole time. So the group goes, <laughs> on. oh, the motorcycle. And you just keep going. Uh, all right, that's fair. Uh, then about <laughs> a half an hour later. Something changes about the tracks. So you think the car like moved around or you would actually stop and look. It looks to you like there are people walking beside the car. Hold on, say, say that all again. So you eventually figure out that in addition to the car, there are people walking outside the car. So that means the car is going super slow or they were pushing the car. Yeah, and there's probably also too many people to fully be on it. Right, yeah. Um, so that does mean you will, if you keep going, you will catch them. Because now they're at least partially on foot. How? Uh, no, no no, way that they we're downwind of them or upwind. Like, are they, have they noticed us? Because of the partial, well, you've got a little cover because the, they won't notice you <clears throat> from the smell and shit because it'll work in your favor having a little bit of dust in the air. Great. Because the visibility will be low. But uh, but why are we able to see them? No, we won't be able to. Oh. But, you know, you thought you were asking about smelling and stuff. That's not really a thing. Okay. In the, in this, in the sandstorm. Yeah. Was that your question? No, my question was that if, if you're explaining this to us, that means we can see them, right? No, you see not the yet. tracks. I, we, we see, the, see tracks. the tracks. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, you, we're guessing that they're pushing. Or yeah, you could be entirely wrong. They could be human centipedes or like something else or be <laughs> using moon boots. But probably there's too many for the car. Great. All right. It's so, like old it's like old World War One tank stuff. Yes. Where the soldiers would march alongside the tank and then behind it. Great. Or, or, or Banthus. Hey, if I'm uh, <laughs> if I'm looking through the scope, can I see how many there are? We're not that close yet. It won't help because you're not on them yet. You're just following the tracks. Okay. Uh, Nomi thinks, looking at the tracks over like the course of an hour, a, a, a dozen, 10, something like that. More than you, but not, more than you, but not twice as many as you, maybe. Okay. Hard to tell. What, what time of day is it by now? Oh, it's after midnight. It's it's the ass end of the night. Okay. It's very dark. So it's maybe like three in the morning. Okay. Let's get him. Let's get him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. And then at about 3.30, I'm going to need the person with the highest notice to roll with one die up, then two die back. So at a penalty of one die. It gets Eric. 
Yeah, I have wolf. six. Yeah. It'll be a you roll five dice. Okay. Success. Okay. You don't see anything, but you hear you think it's the um, uh, uh, Metallica version of Onward Christian Soldiers. Ugh. This offends me on every level. <laughs> <laughs> and it's on the wind up ahead. Uh, so I kind of uh, knock on the roof of the car and say, hold up a minute. I can hear him. Colt, can I have the crosses again? So what do you do? Now your car, Sally, is loud as fuck, by the way. So you don't know, like if you were to stop and get out now and force march from here, you could probably catch them without the engine noise alerting them, but you'd have to stop pretty much immediately. How can, can, Nomi tell by their speed of travel how long it would take for us to get to them? Uh, Nomi, you think 20 minutes? 20 yeah. minutes, man. <laughs> nice. I like taking that, giving that character, even that little bit. <laughs> you know, some people can take even the smallest line and just yeah. keep liking it. Yeah, yeah, totally. I, I mean, I thought <clears throat> that was Nomi saying that. Nice. <laughs> so what do you do? Let's do that. Let's let's uh, hustle to catch up with them. Okay. Yeah. So let's lock, walk. Lock. Uh, turn off the car. Lock it down. Um, D, you feel like an itch at the back of your head. You're not sure what it is. My head hurts. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Off you go. Uh, so, are you making any attempt? Other than not driving a big, loud, old, ancient pickup truck, are you making any attempt at stealth? Once we're close, yeah. I mean, okay. no, Eric says no, but... I'm not. I don't give a fuck. I'll take them all out. I don't give a fuck. Okay. Uh, you will have to either outstrip him because poor Eric, who wants to be in the lead charging, is limping because of a, a horrific uh, leg injury. He suffered two sessions ago. All right, I'll I'll stop us real quick, just so I can make what Eric wants work with what work, would work best with the rest of us. Eric, I see the highest ground is right over there on that dune. You head up there. Give us five minutes to get in position, and then just start firing on them. Okay. You have five minutes. Thank you. Once you once you fire, then we're we'll be all over them. How so am I gonna, gonna get, get? How am I gonna get a signal from you though? You're the signal. Just I'm give us five minutes. I'm counting. So all right, actually, uh, make that two. We don't have a lot of time. Let's all right, go. Good, yeah. So, so you, we can you play can that earth and and fire stun. Oh place. yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna Hudson Hawk it. So the amount of time that it takes is the amount of time for the Earth, Wind, and Fire song to go. All right. <laughs> Do you know that song by her? Wait, hold on. I think I know. Uh, I think that song is like three minutes and 46 seconds or something. Yeah, yeah, that's all good and everything. But Mike, do you know the lyrics? I, do, I don't. Oh, damn. If yeah. there's a magic book then with that we can look. <laughs> and what I'll if, write a song for you. You'll write a song for me. <laughs> what right. if it's not the actual recording of the song, but be singing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. She found a recorder. I actually prefer that. She uh, recorded it with Jeepers. Yeah. Yeah. The karaoke that she did. It absolutely, yeah. absolutely <laughs> All right. Which means at some point you need to post you singing that damn song. Fuck. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. So if I'm hearing you right, in an ideal world, what you would like is you want Eric in the uh, far position. Yes. And the rest of the group is in close. Yes. And then to essentially spring an ambush and start murdering people. Yes. Yes. Where okay. does D be like do best? 
close. She has close. no ability to do uh, anything okay. but, but close. Okay. And then from there, she will need to be near. She has to run in and punch and kick and headbutt people. Okay. Although, remember, she doesn't fully know that. Right, right, right. She probably has a sense she wants to help. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got it. D. All right, All D. right folks. Uh, let's find out if you're able to get the thing in the perfect world. How would I decide that? That sounds like kind of a karmic thing. Karma thing, yeah. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to say that you're coming in. Uh, Eric is in position. So you're at uh, far to them. Yep. One thing that's in your, in your favor that I'm not going to call karma for, just happens to work out this way, is uh, the storm lets up, which means it's mostly clear skies, which means you're going to be able to shoot from that range without penalty. Because uh, it was going to die down eventually. Uh, the group, however, is ideally dropping Eric off at far. When you notice, and you can see them kind of over there, but it's in the dark, um, we'll say that you see kind of silhouettes because it's at night. The car and people are standing, and it's one of those, I forget the name of the car, that's got a little bit of a back that's almost like a pickup. Oh, an El Camino? Yes, yeah. Camino. So there's an El Camino. Mm -hmm. It's somebody standing back, and there's speakers mounted on top, very Mad Max style, and they're blasting their uh, ill-conceived uh, Christian hard rock out of those speakers, and there are people marching beside. Uh, so uh, you're starting to pull a, a bead, Eric, but you're kind of waiting for them to get closer. Yeah. So can I can I ask real quick? Um, sure. When I look through the scope, what do I see? How many people are there? What's their formation? Is there a leader? And where are they? The triggering action that will stop them before they get close will happen before you get that data, because you won't have the time to communicate it to them. But as soon as the shit starts, you can immediately convey the information. Because uh, I'm, I'm actually asking for myself. Because I'm, I'm trying to figure out who to shoot first. Oh, you, okay. We'll, we'll get to you in a second. Uh, point being, they, as you're doing that, and you're not ready to fire, they have spotted you and somebody fires back. No. So, so that's not going to be at Eric, though. Because the whole point was he was a little further back. And right. he was going to be left to be the, so he it won't be him. It'll be the forward group. Right. So they're going to be, I'm going to take one shot at each of you. Okay. Upside, these are not um, ninjas. These are <laughs> not hardcore commandos. These are um, big boys who think that they're really hardcore and really haven't had combat training, like shooting guns. Uh, so they're not wearing red hats by any chance, are they? Uh, <laughs> no, no, they're not. But they're wearing white clothes that they've marked with crosses. Ah. Uh. So one shot at D. Miss. One shot at Goldwater. Miss. One shot at Navad. Near miss. What's your defense against guns? Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. That would be a, uh, that's the blast. Yeah. No, no, Fire. defense against guns, your armor. Firearms. Uh, yeah. Two. Okay. Uh, you are going to take. Uh, 13 points of damage. Wow. Uh, so that's two injuries. So roll those and let me know if you get a wound. Okay. Okay, that's a five and a six. So I've marked those. No. Okay. Your left arm has the condition paralyzed. So it's not actually fully paralyzed. It's just you took a bullet to the shoulder. Mm -hmm. so you can't really work that arm effectively. That's yeah. going to give you a penalty dice to things like spell casting. Right. Because your arm is just hanging there. Yeah. As far as recovery, you're not sure yet. So okay. every time I issue a condition, fixing the condition depends on the injury. Right now, all you know is it hurts like fuck and your arm is just hanging there. Are you negative hit points? No, because I had sex earlier. <laughs> so, so your youthful vigor sees you through. Uh, but you're not wounded though, it's just the condition. So yep. that's so you're no danger of dying from it. 
I'm not, yes. Uh, all right, so Nomi, miss you. It's the only one that gets hit is Port Naval. Yeah, uh, sounds right. about right. So at that point, I'm going to give the information to Eric he asked for. And uh, you see up ahead, uh, there's people in the car that you can't see. Uh, there are two people in the back of the car. And there are three people walking on each side of the car. So you can see. What is that, 10? Something like that, yeah. 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 Um, okay. I'm going to shoot at the two people in the back of the car. Double shot. Are we not rolling initiative? Or are we just going? Uh, yeah, we totally should. Uh, oh, yeah. So hold that thought, Eric. <laughs> Clearly, the guest understands the system. That's a good twenty. <laughs> I got a twenty. I'm going to go around and ask. Okay, I got to enter these in my my tracker over yeah, here. Yeah, Eric, what's your initiative? Twenty nine. Okay, B. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Jesus. Uh, D. I'm sorry. Where is it at? Uh, it's it's your speed. Lower left there side. It is. Okay, I thought so. Okay. Uh, give me one second. No. <laughs> yeah. yeah, fine. Twenty-eight. <laughs> I was wondering if D couldn't count. I can't. No, <laughs> I Danielle cannot count. Uh, Navad, what you got? Uh, Twenty. All right, and know me. Oh, it looks like she said 24. That's what 24, I saw. 24, 24, 24, 24. Ow. Yeah, we got you. We got you now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and gold water. 24. <laughs> oh, right. I see. Okay. So, Eric, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so Eric, you, you were the first one up, so I shouldn't have stopped you. That's so, all right. So, go ahead. No, she, fire. Jess was right. Um, For once in her absolute life. Yes, exactly right. All right, so I'm going to try a double shot. And I am doubly successful. Sweet. Um, what's their armor? Okay, that guy's wearing, uh, that guy in the back is wearing leathers, uh, but it's only a two. Only a two? Yep. Sweet. Leathers Here are, we go. Just simple leathers are shit against me. One, two, three, four, five on the first roll for damage. Two. Uh, two plus a crit, which is five plus. Oh. Not, so 10 total. 10 is enough to take him out. He drops off the back. Nice shooting. All uh, right. <laughs> Tex. D, you're up. Okay. Uh, how far are we from, from everybody? So you have to close range. So you're going to have to use your round, basically, because you have to use your complex action to run, or to move. So you're going okay. to go from uh, far to close. So this round, you basically just run. Do I need to roll for it or no? Not a thing. OK. OK, so D is running into combat, just so the rest of you know that that's what's happening. So it, um, it kind of clicked in, like? I don't know that it's clicked in yet. I just think I know I'm supposed to go in there, right? That sounds fair. I think really when the combat starts, that would take over. But now, yeah, yeah I think you're right. You're just like, I'm going to go over there. That's the helping place. Mm -hmm. uh, so she's running. And so in answer to the way you'd react, uh, to help inform the way you'd react. So your run wouldn't be like a... a, a no, I'm just going to be jogging or... over there like I'm, yeah. I'm, going, I'm going over here now. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a little incongruous. Uh, no me. You are How far. How far are they? They're in the third range category. Far. Okay, so I think that means uh, it's time to use the crossbow. You can crossbow the hell out of any of the six guys to the side of the car or one of the guys in the back of the car. And we did ascertain that they are pushing? No, they're walking Push beside it. Oh, okay, great. I'm going to I'm gonna go for... Sorry, go ahead. No, they probably were at some point pushing it, but they got it going. 
Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna aim straight on for the dickhead driving. So you can't even see him. Oh. They put something in that back that back window thing, and so you can see the, the one guy remaining in the back, but from your position because it's facing away from you, you can't see the driver. Okay, can I? Is there? So I can't. Could I see the gas tank by any chance? Yeah. Would you recommend it as the DM, the GM, to? Um. So, in the real world, gas tanks don't explode like that. Okay. This is not the real world. Okay. Uh, but Love it. physics you, have changed. We know this. If you hit it, <laughs> exactly. If you hit it, there will be a chance it will blow. The nice. other problem is Nomi would know. If you care, K is probably in the passenger seat. Of oh, good card. Good cop. Yeah. Uh, she cares. I think Nomi would totally have tracked that. Yep. No, you're right. Uh, okay. So we're going to go for the person that I can see. Uh, and I want to hit. Uh, over what? What's a, a six, right? I want to hear six. Well, do you want an armed guy? Or oh, sorry, the uh, one of the guys the sides of the car or the guy in the back? I think the guy in the back, because you said I can't see anybody in the car, right? Correct. Okay, I'm going for the guy in the back, and I Sweet. and I got one six. Sweet damage, defense against. Uh, what's the damage type of your crossbow? The damage. The second is it uh, S? It's S, yes. So the defense is three. Okay, so meaning I can have uh, I roll how many things? roll that many okay. the number yeah, of damage dice you're looking at three better. Okay, um, all four hit but no sixes. Okay, so four points, and that's more significant on these guys than those giant chunks of meat. Right. You know the other guy fell with ten or less hit points, so that's that matters. Uh, all right, so then Goldwater, you're up. Yeah. So we're running up on people on the side of the truck, right? Or the car. Yep, there's three on the each car side. truck. The, yeah, the, it's, yeah, yeah, exactly. The fuck. All the, right. The truck the... Uh, I, I think it's a good time to use the, the SMG. I've never used it. Okay. Let's just, you know, you hose go, some people down. Want to go full auto on that? Yeah, let's, let's try and get all of them. Well, that's not how that works. Full auto means. Damn it. <laughs> full auto means, well, there's advantages to do that. The yes. full auto in this case means if you get a near miss, it counts as a success. Yeah. But if you fail, it's a higher chance it'll be. Well, I am going to full you auto got, this. You got Let's more go through the whole clip. Let's burn the clip. Do you want the guy in the back or one of the guys on the side? Uh, on the side. All right. Open fire. All right. Uh, let's roll some six dice here. Change that seven to a six. Uh, I got a success. Roll your damage. The defense is only two. They're not wearing any armor at all. All right, my damage is five. What'd you say? Defense was two? Two. So two or better hits, right? Anything two or higher scores a point. Okay. And then so that's four. Four, crit. four damage, okay. Sweet. Uh, all right, then Navad. Okay, I'm far away, and yeah. um, I'm far away, and I'm jacked up from my arm. Yes. Um, and this is the first time I, we've encountered these believer guys. Um, yeah. But my guess is they probably don't like magic, and I'm going to. Um, I'm going to put on, I'm going to go as like full and cheap a magic as I can to okay. just kind of spook them. So, so you want to float and do your death head? I'm going to float. I'm going to do the death head, but I'm also going to do the night vision cantrip where I close my <laughs> eyes and I have a third eye that emerges in the middle of my head. Can I do, can I double cantrip that up? So I have like a, a skeleton with a third eye. Normally, no, but okay. I'm going to use my friend just blew up exemption, which is in appendix two. Okay. So you absolutely can do that shit. Okay. So, uh, and then I'm going to slowly start levitating and moving towards them. Just. That's all going to be uh, simple actions, which yeah. means you could move 
to close range of this round, just gliding in. Gliding so I, in. I'm going to need an intimidate check from you. Add two dice. An intimidate check with two dice? Oh, geez. I don't know if I have that many dice. <laughs> Five, six, seven. Hold on. It's an, that's eight dice. Hold on. Okay, that's eight. Oh, yeah. I got, I got uh, two sixes. Okay. You're not close enough to see the reaction clearly in the dark. Uh, I'll get to that. Well, it's their initiative. Never mind. I was going to say I'm the round. It's their round. Um, the guy in the back yells, It's a demon. Kill it. Half the other guys say, Fuck no. And actually don't act this round because they're freaked out. Okay. But the other three open fire on you. Okay. You have become the target. <laughs> yeah, I realized that as I was doing that, I'm like a glowing, yep, like gangly hot air balloon. I like that the VOD thought through, you know what they'll hate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's like that? Once again, the death head comes back to bite you. <laughs> I have. All right, so they uh, basically moves to the situation. Don't attack all of them. One just gets one extra die for every extra person. So it's one attack. I don't normally do this, but you kind of oh, need to see. That's, that is a one, a five, a two, and a four. four. And a one. So despite the fact that they were all group fighting you, they managed to not pull off a full hit. They do get a near miss, but they, they do not. That would have been very bad uh, okay. because they also add to the damage. So here's what they do, but it's going to be divided by two. So you okay. might make it out of this, sir. Okay. Okay, that's going to be huh, eight more points. Wait. Oh, my God. So you are not negative, uh, and... You take one more injury. So roll the injury and pray for not a wound. Okay. A wound. Okay. So now you need to make a tough. So is that your first box or your second box? That's my first box. And so the wound box? Toughness. Yep. So make a toughness check. And with that first box, even a near miss is a pass. So uh, all you got to do is pull off a near miss and you're fine. A, a toughness is the endurance throw? No, it's literally called toughness. It's in the upper. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> you got less excited at the end there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because I only have three. It, it, well, endurance and toughness for me are both three dice. I got a partial. And because it's that first box, that's enough. Okay. Uh, and because you're actually negative hit points, failing would have been very bad. So yeah. it's not as bad as you made your save. It's all good, man. Uh, all right. Cool. We're in the same boat. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Uh, the Wait. car stopped. Eric, you're up. Uh, okay. Do they do anything, or are they like scrambling away? Are they trying to, mo or are they just stop? Is that the only? Three are backing away. Three open fire on Navad. The guy in the back seems to be giving orders. Uh, so I'm gonna try and headshot the guy in the back. Can I use target now, please? You, <laughs> you absolutely can use target now. Okay. Do you have a target with a number next to it? It's one, so I get to add an extra die? No, you subtract one. Oh, I subtract two. one, but if I get That's it, it's... Perfect, yes. Yeah. Okay, so it's headshot time. Yep. I got five fives. <laughs> Shall I just... Nazi. Get, get your karma and make that a hit? Yeah. I mean, yeah, sure. Okay, it's a, it's a hit. So go ahead and do your damage with the extra die. Ooh, uh, and what is their defense too? Uh, against oh no, his is three because he's wearing leathers, right? No, no, it's against a gun, it's a two. Okay, so. It was better against the crossbow. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I've got two sixes to roll. Oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> and I got an extra six, so that's 13. And I got an extra six, so that's 16. Keep going. That's it. So There's 16 no with no a headshot. Please tell me I vaporized all. his head. You take him to negative 10. 
you vaporize his head. Question, uh, can it can the last shot go through him to somebody else? Because <laughs> uh, if only you had positive karma, maybe. I uh, see. But no, the angle you're at, it would have gone over the roof of the car. Uh, all right. Good thought. Uh, D, you can, I think it would get, uh, it would activate now, yeah? Yeah, I would see Navad getting attacked and, and you know, like switch gears essentially and point, point direction over there. So you want to attack the wounded guy? One of the, yeah. okay, roll to hit with uh, Brawl Melee. Okay. Uh, do you enter defensive, uh, aggressive stance, by the way? Yes. Okay. I need to, I need to say that, right? I'm sorry. Uh, yes. Because it uses, game mechanics wise, it uses a simple action. So she enters, she has martial arts and the aggressive, uh, the aggressive stance advantage. So she mm -hmm. gets an extra die to hit because she's in a stance. As far as all of that goes, uh, I know, I know, I know. Like technically, there's no number next to that. Do I need to say like hammer hand or fortitude or something after that? No, no. You just, all you had to say was aggressive stance. Got it. What that does is add a die to your attack. Okay, gotcha. So roll, cool. roll melee with an extra die. Okay. Near miss. Okay. Well, that's still okay. So go ahead and. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. No, I have one six. You did? Great. Yeah, I, yeah, here, I can show you. It's there. I just <laughs> I mean, didn't see it. I believe you. Go ahead and uh, roll your damage. Okay. Their defense is only two. They're unarmored. Okay, I got one. Uh, okay, six, seven, eight. I got nine with one six. No, and that's so it. So every die you're doing that thing where so what were your three numbers? Uh I got uh oop um six and then a two and then a one. Okay. So that means two of the dice rolled two are better. So that's two points. What's your crit value? Uh three. Yep. So that's gonna be five points. Now roll another die and see if you get another six. Right, and I didn't. So you did five points with a punch. Gotcha. Okay, sorry. All right. So D again goes into combat that's clearly a lot more effective than you were led to believe and delivers a punishing punch. Uh, no, me, you're up. My cat got up just in time. Um, <laughs> did anyone get out of the car yet? No, they just stopped the car, like probably next round. All right, I'm going to start running. Want to get in? Okay, so you're going to go to close range this round, and that's probably all you do. Sure. Uh, Goldwater. I'm going to. Oh, you got it. Gold. You said Goldwater. Got it. Goldwater. Bye, bye, bye. I'll lean in. <laughs> I'm going to shoot again. Okay, do you want to shoot the one that um, D has knocked down a bit? Um, or do you want a yeah. fresh thing? No, that sounds good. Okay. Go so ahead. Clear him up. All right. Uh, yeah, I succeeded. <laughs> okay. And defensive only two. I got five and I get an exploding six. Oh, no, wait. Um, I got five and then the crit is three. So that's eight. And then I reroll one oh, six. Yeah, okay. eight. Yep, perfect. Okay, that's it. Okay, you take him out. Yes. Down he goes. Uh, Less people shooting. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The the VOD, what do you do? You are fucked up, my friend. Yeah, I'm going to let it all drop and drop to the ground. Okay. So we'll do like this camera will swing to you and you kind of sag visibly. Mm -hmm. yeah, dripping with blood. I'm yeah. picturing very <laughs> Frank Miller, lots of like black and white with splotches of red. Yeah. Uh, all right, cool. Uh, get back uh, two hit points. Then we go to me. All right, so the guys in back are dead. So they were kind of sub leaders, and the, the other ones were a little freaked out by Navad. They're a little hesitant. So they hesitate. The door to the car opens, and a guy comes out who's a monster of a man. He is looks to be a pure, 
so unmutated, but he is massively muscled. Uh, one of those guys that's shaped like, like this, like, you know, ridiculous. He is covered, he's wearing just tight jeans, no shirt, covered in cross tattoos. Up on his chest, right at the top, it says John 316. And below that, it says, see me, Lord. And he has all kinds of those hash marks. So if Nomi's right about what those mean, those are, there's a little like, uh, if you're a Batman fan, like Zaz, like Victor Zaz, those are probably all righteous kills. Mm -hmm. uh, he swings around a rocket launcher. He points it at Navad's area, but is not fired. He yells, I have your bitch surrender. Uh, the next person up would be Eric. Do you do you surrender? Good God, no. Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't figuring. Um, I want to aim. I assume that the way that the tattoo is placed, that the six is over his fucking heart, right? Yeah, yeah, totally. I want to hit the six. I I have some faith that you have the ability to do that. So roll a six to hit the six. Roll a six to hit the six. So he's got no armor. If you I rolled. Roll. Two sixes and three fives. You hit him. His defense is only two. He's wearing nothing. Uh, I got six. Okay. So remembering my uh, green, yellow, red, six, unlike the guys that would have been yellow for any of them, he is still clearly green. Uh, D, would you like to engage in Pistacops? Absolutely. Okay. Go ahead and roll. You are minus one die because of advantage he has. Okay. He is also a trained hand-to-hand -hand fighter. So you come in with your aggressive stance and mm -hmm. he assumes yeah. a defensive stance. Okay. So you guys are not watching a martial arts fight. All right. Uh, two fives. Okay. Near miss. Roll your damage and then divide the result by two. Okay. Oh. Seven and a half. Eight. Eight, so that'd be four, right? Yeah. No, no, that's half. What did you roll? Uh, uh, 13. So what were your three deaths? Uh, I, it was a six and then a five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and a two. Okay, so that means anything two or higher scores eight points. So your three dice scored three points. I'm you so bad the, at math. You rolled a six, and that's the three more for your crit. That's six points. Roll another okay. die and see if you get another six. Nope. Okay, so you also did six points. Okay. Uh, all right, and he is now yellow. So then we go to Nomi. Get him. So who's av who's alive still? There are a bunch of like secondary thug dudes, like five of them, but they haven't attacked. They look like they're waiting to see what ha what happens with their boss. The Who boss, just got hit, though, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. And then there's the boss. I'm sorry, the boss got hit, or the the secondary. The, the boss has been hit twice now. Okay, and since I'm running in that direction, you're you're uh, within range to attack. Uh, with stabby stabby, or is it better to do cross cross? Uh, to do cross, you're at close range right now, which is the second range category. Is that good for you? Yeah, that's good for me. So go ahead and shoot him. One success. Uh, three hits, one six. That's five. Not, and I didn't hit it again. So five more points. So you're, as a group, you're kind of methodically doing kind of the same thing. <laughs> uh, Nomi, he's got that like hater face, that like rage face. 
that is the same face of the people that destroyed your compound. Like he is of that tribe for sure. Cool. Goldwater. Um, I will swap to my pistol and shoot him. Okay. Oh, a near miss, near or glancing blow, whatever you want to call it. So that's do your damage, but have it. Right. Get sixes. Get all the sixes. <laughs> uh, well, that's four and a six. So, so seven. Um, seven. And then let me reroll that six. No. Nope. Um, so it's seven and a half. So, so that's uh, eight. Be, uh, four more. Okay, at this point, normally he would be defeated. He has an advantage that kicks in when he goes to zero, and he gets an action, which means he shoots the rocket launcher. Uh, he is going to shoot the rocket launcher at the person that did the most damage, which would either be D or Eric. Eric's not as close as D, so I will shoot it at Eric. Eric you can uh, jump phase to evade because you can see it coming. Okay. So that means evasion. You may always evade as a priority action uh, as a response to an attack being declared against you. And you don't need to make a reaction save to do it. You have to do an evade test to avoid being hit. So okay. what the difficulty of that is and hopefully you cannot be rocket launched to death. That would be ignominious. It would be a terrible way to go. And yeah, it's not, I mean, not your favorite way either, right? No, definitely not. Okay. So you need, do you have evade? I do. I have six evade dice. Okay. So, uh, so do it with one die down. Okay. Everybody, please pray for me if you'd like to see me continue. Unless you want Derek to come along. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I evaded it. I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. It really <laughs> goes over you and you drop and something behind you explodes. That last action is all that that guy gets to do except as he dies, he yells, Lord, take me up. All right. We are now out of phase. That guy is dead and there are four remaining uh, believers but they seem now unconvinced they need to continue shooting. What do you do? I'd like to run up and stab all of them. I'm gonna, I'd like to rack the gun and I can get as close as humanly possible to blow their faces off. So there are five people here. They're five, so there are five of them. They've got weapons, but they're not good with them. and They have no armor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around to each of you, except for Navad, who's the poor guy is sitting there like trying to do even breaths and keeping from expiring. Everybody else is going to explain what they do to one of those guys. Eric? Oh, I go first? You go first, man. All right. So I am going to, as I am walking with the scope I'm going to put it right, like, do, do other of them have crosses? Oh, yeah. They have them on their shirts, but these guys only have, like, a couple. Um, all right. So I'm going to walk, and I'm going to aim directly for the cross that's closest to somebody's heart. Ah. And I'm going to say, you know what, motherfucker? Go to hell. And I'm going to shoot him right in the, in the chest and blow his heart out of his chest. And you do. And he dies and there is no heaven, and he doesn't get a reward. Uh, <laughs> D. Um, I accrued a lot of uh, like good striking in the last two rounds, so I, <laughs> I use stunning strike on my person, and uh, as I take them out, I say, I'll miss B, but no one's around to miss you. Oh, ooh. Whoa. Little, 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 little refrigerator cold from D there. Uh, so the guy is out but alive. So if you want to, this puts the guy in play, <sighs> survives if you need to do a questioning. 
Uh, so he just is stunned by her martial arts and collapses. Uh, Goldwater. Okay, joke answer is I point my gun at the guy and I say, separation of church and state. <laughs> and I shoot him. <laughs> actual, <laughs> no, actual thing is I shoot him in the head and then walk over to Nevada. Do you remember when Joe Cancer was a thing? They were Joe using to sell cigarettes. That Joe Camel. Yeah. Oh, Joe Camel. Okay, uh, Nomi, what do you do? I walk up to one of the guys and like, like stand like face to face with him, and he's really confused. And I just stab stab in his genitals. <laughs> Holy. My favorite part was the slight hang in the dialogue where it was <laughs> I stab him and there was like a like a hitch in the genitals. That's the best. Uh, you succeed. His genitals are stabbed. Uh, Appendix 3 says that that kills him. Great. And that he is humiliated in all ways as he dies. Uh, all right. So I realize that that isn't all of the numerical people, but there was a montage. You kill all the guys except for the unconscious guy. So what do you do with the end? So first thing, we'll take Goldwater out of this because he's helping tend Nevada. So that's yeah. that's going on. Uh, D is probably spending like a round or two de-escalating and re -deeing. Uh So Eric and Nomi, what you do? Um, we're going to interrogate this young gentleman. There's also someone else in the in the car. Yeah. Yes. This that's that's more important. I'll, I'll let I'll let Eric inter interrogate and I'll, and I'll release Kay from the back. Okay. So you you find a woman that does look exactly like D and B. She's got a K on her jumpsuit. Uh, she is bound up. Uh, she's got uh, uh, zip zip ties on her wrists. She is heavily drugged. Uh, I just take her out of wherever she is and throw her over my shoulder. Okay. And I carry her back to the truck. She groans a little, but is clearly not fully aware. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, uh, Eric. Um, I'm going to kneel, kneel in front of this gentleman and say, please. Please. Please fail to answer my questions. I'm... Can I just shout at Eric from where I am? Sure. Torturing people doesn't actually get any useful uh, information. <laughs> You'll get whatever he whatever he thinks will stop you from hurting him, but nothing useful. So either kill him or ask him questions, including who he is and where he's from. And then I go back to Nevada. <laughs> I know. I hate. Sorry. Logic. <laughs> Who are you and where are you from? I, I am a child of the Lord, you freak. And with that, I pull B's leg out of the holster that I have been keeping it in and I beat that motherfucker to death with it. I think that's a fair, a slow camera pullback, uh, which makes the implication of the not fully seen violence much, much worse. Uh, and right at the end, he lets out a bit, a little bit of a scream that becomes a gurgling. And then as he dies, he says, but there's nothing. And then he dies. Yeah, bitch. Sorry. So the group regroups nearby. You kind of set up camp a little bit. You can revive K if you want to. Okay. Yeah. Who's got the highest medical skill? Not. Wait, maybe me. This I is a really low have. medical. I have a. I have uh, three. I have four. Um, oh, so, okay. Uh, Nomi, with help from the boys. Uh, Navad, I assume they've bandaged you and you're resting a bit. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't look so great. This is 
in the same day, he's looked the best you've ever seen him and probably the worst you've ever seen him. Um, Nomi, you can give him some stuff and bring him around. Bring her around. Say that again. Nomi, what? You can give her some uh, uh, herbs and such. Okay. Like, literally, literally like desolation cure kind of stuff because you don't really have proper meds on you. Right. But you can bring her around. Okay. Uh, she wakes up. Hello. Oh, hello, D. Hey, you're okay. I'm so glad you survived. You too. Who's left? Just us. Not true, but I'm not sure D knows that. Grace told B that several of the other sisters were not accounted for, uh, mm. but D might not know that. Okay. Oh, well, that's suboptimal. Who are your friends? Uh, they, they were friends with B. They seem really great. Where's B? We killed people together. Oh, oh, were you, did they give you a gun or something? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, hell. We got to talk. So where's B? Uh, she's a daddy and the sisters now. She looks over at Nomi. Shit. Uh, hi, my name is Kay. Thanks for saving my life. Uh, mm, uh, sure. I think we all did. I'm not going to take credit. That's my only reason for hesitating. I. Uh... You just had the strongest aura of authority, and I also tend to assume the woman is leading that's really honestly really astute of you and i am leading but i'm not part of this group so oh. i uh i just don't i just don't like have a lot of feelings about what's going on and also oh. uh, this is where i leave you all because I, I i i overstayed my welcome anyway so oh all right um so who do i thank I think you're going to look at all these people beside me. Well, thank you collectively then. Um, to what do I owe the pleasure? It's by request and by necessity. Your mother okay. asked for us to find you and return you. Oh, oh Grace sent you. Oh, yes. he wants to complete the mission. Yes. Do you know what that is? I can't remember. Are you? Are any of you part of Project Morningstar? I am a member of the United States government. I believe I may be the one of the only people who does have any authority and say in the situation. I, um, I except for the list of all the people that work for Project Morningstar that we are currently carrying as well. So she says to Goldwater, I, I saw that that system was still operating. I, I wasn't aware it was connected to anyone. It's good to see that it is. Well, uh, like your friend here, and she points to Nomi, um, I need to go. And, and, and in fact... I mean, I have some subdermal platinum I can give you, but can you guide me out of this desolation? Yeah. Uh, I have to complete my mission. And if you've not been sent by Morningstar, I just need to get out of here and get moving. We could take their truck. Do you know how to drive? Uh, is this your truck? Whose truck is this? Oh, I'm talking about the other dude's trucks. Oh. The, the El Camino. Or oh. the car, yeah. Oh, I actually kind of like this car. All right. Well, that's good. Well, is there anything else we need to... Oh, oh, uh, I forgot this. And she hugs D. I'm so glad the combat training took... When I found out they gave up on you, I was pissed. That's okay. They said it was because you didn't have operational insight which was their way to say they didn't think you were smart enough to be effective in the field. 
And my point was, she's a nice kid and you can always give her directions and she'll follow instructions. That's true. So don't let anybody tell you you don't have value because you do, because you're me. I love you. <laughs> I love you. All right, ready to go. Uh, I'm gonna have to dig out this platinum though. You have a knife? Mm. Yeah. She cuts open her arm and she's actually got the equivalent of like, you know, the, the guy with the briefcase with the coins at the bottom, the, <laughs> the, the agent stuff. She's got little slivers of platinum in under her skin. And she pulls one out, winces a little, and passes it to Nomi. That should trade pretty well. I you didn't need didn't need it to happen now. It's okay. Let's go. Let's just go. Oh, I didn't wipe it off. I'm sorry. No, Either. it's okay. I don't. I'm not squeamish. Uh, thanks again. You guys are great. Take care of my sister. Well do. I'm okay. gonna go try to kill an angel for you. Please. Bye. <laughs> As she leaves, I scream, Bye. I'm an only child. <laughs> <laughs> so Nomi and uh, uh, the uh, a K drive off in the El Camino across the desolation uh, as the sun rises, making a very good, a lovely shot. <laughs> <laughs> so I think the uh, anybody have uh, from the, the ongoing group have an outline or does the camera just look at you sort of stunned and fade to black. Yeah, fade to black, fade to black. <laughs> so we but, we, really but we hear, we hear the, we hear, oh, Eric puts his headphones in and we hear the, the soundtrack. Over the yeah. credits? Yeah, yeah. Totally. Well, we all do something in slow motion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. So uh, that's the session. Uh, before we go to the credits out with, with we're going to go to Shannon today, uh, let me just say personally, thank you just for playing. You were amazing. It was my and, pleasure. Uh, thank you. That closes out the plot <coughs> arc. Uh, next week is going to be all six members of the core group. So there's no guests, but you get all six of the regulars. So you get everybody. Uh, yep. And although no B, but you do get D. Uh, all right. So thanks again. And over to you, Shannon. Second. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Just Sorry. You need to yeah, my your iPad Siri first. just freaked out on me. Um, my wife's TV show finally got clear to be announced. So um, uh, next week on October 14th, uh, uh, Wednesday at 9 p.m. Central, 10 p.m. Eastern, Genre Graveyard will be an actual TV show on the L. Ray Network. She's been working on this since May, and it's finally happening. So... I just had to get that out there. Um, it's a mix of Pee Wee's Playhouse and Elvira with a lot of interviews with filmmakers about genre films. So I'm very excited. And for, and for you guys, uh, Jen plays Tart. And yes. it's super delightful and awesome. They'll be here next week. Totally. Uh, all right. So over to, uh, and, and thank you for sure. Over yes. to Shannon. moderator and special shout oh colt joyce our technical director and then also special shout out to all the people featured in the midstream art break uh mari uh all the way from italy uh tiger moon uh danielle herself with some official arts and until next week we will see you in the wastelands <laughs>